Still not quite there. All right, we are on the correct daily run. This is going to be a spark shift daily run, and I don't exactly know what things are going to get shifted. We will probably be using the Noi tool whenever we get there just to make it so that we can do some, uh, some interesting shifts. But we'll see. We'll decide whenever we get to that portion of the run. If this ends up getting posted to YouTube, uh, I will link uh, in the description below a timestamp to the actual part of the run that is focused around doing what is called a, a spark shift because a lot of people are probably wondering what the heck it is but instead of going into a super deep rant on it right now since my chat is already aware of uh of what a spark shift is i just got done ranting about it i'll wait to rant again once i get to the to that part of the run but hopefully by the end of this run we can have a couple things such as our portals um i don't know what else what kind of things we should set some goals for things that we can we can change but it should be a it should be all visual basically tons of visuals should look pretty different than they normally would in noita it's not anything that is something that you would do in a regular run this is a cosmetic challenge in noita something that you're that the like a self-imposed challenge you don't need any mods it is just regular noita but it's more of uh, something that you would want to do because you can not because it's necessary it's just let's see if we can pull it off kind of thing Link it so I can skip, Madge. <laughs> All right, Stifex, you're here live right now. There isn't a link yet. So just wait and see, and you'll get an explanation of what the spark shift, uh, what, what spark shifting is at the moment we start to do it. Because if we explain it now, what's going to happen is we'll get to that part of the run. Let me scoop up some water. Hold up. There we go. Converted our invisibilium over to water. But, uh, yeah, this is only on the beta right now, by the way. I don't want to go into a deep explanation of the spark shifting since whenever we get to the moment, we'll need to explain again. But let's save ourselves some ranting and let's get to the good stuff. Hmm? Spark shifting is only available on the beta and uh, that doesn't mean that it won't be available on the main client, but there is a chance that it could change. Like, you never know, the devs could make some kind of change. So that it's no longer possible by the time it gets pushed to the main client. So, uh, you know, Artorius in the chat, he brought up a good point, which is, you know, I was thinking of making it just like a tutorial video. So it's short and, well, not short and sweet. You guys know my videos are always long rants. But shorter than watching an entire run just to learn about spark shifting. Uh, but the, the downfall to that is that if the devs end up making a change to how this works, well, then the whole... The, the tutorial video would be pointless, you know, we just delete that. So if we make it an entire run, at the very least, you get to watch an adventure today. And uh, even if it changes before it gets pushed to the main client, it's still a fun Noita adventure regardless. So hopefully we get some cool stuff in today's daily. If you weren't here yesterday, yesterday's daily was one of the craziest dailies. I mean, we've had a lot of crazy dailies over the past, like, two weeks, I would say. There's been some really, really fun ones. But yesterday was one where, our, like, our whole world was just filled with gold. We found an always cast uh, Circle of Vigor wand. Um, there were just many things in that run that were wild yesterday. So uh, I, I feel like our daily run luck has been used up. I don't know if we're going to get anything crazy from today's, today's daily. Oh, my God, that guy was holding a wand. That could have been bad news. The daily runs have been good. Yeah, chat has been, you know, that we got some we got some conspiracy theory people in the community saying that they think the daily runs are specifically set to be like better stuff. Like you, you just get better stuff on the daily. I mean, I I do know that there you do get a lot of good stuff on the daily, but I don't know if that's that's more coincidental. And so many people play the dailies, everybody always finds the the best stuff the level has to offer. While in a regular run, you know, a regular seed, if you're the only person that plays it, it's very easy to, like, overlook one wand that would have changed the entire run. But you may not realize what a great run it is. Oop, let me... Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I was hoping to pour water on them, but all I've done is corner myself here. Okay. I was foolish. I thought I could sneak by him and got smacked by a fireball. Uh, 
All right. We got one heart from the level, and we got the orb heart, so it's not the worst start. Uh, some flum over here. Let's pour some water on top of it. Oh, water actually sits below flum. What am I thinking? If it sits on top of it, it makes it way easier to stain this guy. Sitting at the bottom. Oh, actually, he's standing in it, I think. Very A very slow death. But he is standing in a little bit of water, which water on this guy kills him. Today's run is about doing a spark shift, which uh, if you don't know what it is, don't worry. I will give a, a deeper explanation when we get to that that portion of the run. Because it can take a long time to set up. I mean, we could get lucky and within like the next 30 or 45 minutes be doing some spark shifts. But more likely is we're going to be like three or four hours in and then be like, finally, we get to do some spark shifts. I died on yesterday's daily because a pixel that blended in the background blocked my shot. It exploded. I dead. <laughs> yeah, that is one thing that I find very frustrating. In fact, there's even a mod uh, on the Noita Workshop that specifically makes it where... So, when you know, like when you're shooting explosives in Noita, it, it like kind of burns the pixels. They become very dark, which is hard to, to see them most of the time on the dark background. And it actually changes the burnt pixels. Like they don't they don't get that dark coloring. Several people in our community use it um, regularly. And the reason I know that is because we play oops, we play Noita together. And in Noita together, when we play as a group, you can see what other mods people are running. And I notice a lot of people, uh, not a lot, but there are there are several that, that run Remember that. Remember to check out my website, dunkorslam.com, for more Noita rants don't, and sweaty god gamer don't gameplay. Listen to that. Also check out my only knees. New subscribers get 50% off for their first three months. What the fuck? <laughs> don't, don't listen to Salted Cat. He's uh, gone insane. Hmm. I'll swap this. Where Dunkbot 2.0? One day. One day soon. Hopefully. Uh, that's also a decent one. We're getting several things that I like, it's like several resources that I'm like, ooh, not bad. At least the first zone's got some wand, wand choices to be made. I mean, finding a digging bolt this early is already very lucky. And then to get even more wands on top of that, pretty darn lucky. Who says this for YouTube? Likely. I mean, we don't know. Chat. Basically, chat has been guilting me. They're like, you have abandoned the YouTube community. I've not abandoned them. It's just that the YouTube peeps, I try to make sure that their their content is less garbage than the Twitch livestream content. Like you guys, you see this this chat right here? They're used to being fed garbage 24-7, so they accept it. The YouTube peeps, they like more refined garbage. They want a little bit of effort into that. So it ends up being where I go a long period of time without uploading, and I don't want those guys to think I forgot. Okay, you see why? That's why they get garbage, all right? So YouTube community, don't go thinking the YouTube... I mean, the, the Twitch people are innocent. They, we got some DJs out there. They're not always behaving. So, hopefully we'll get to post this onto YouTube so that chat will stop guilting me. Thanks for alerting us to the refresh mimic in the daily yesterday. Finally checked it off on my progress. Yeah, that, that was another one. That was another one, Roel. I almost forgot. Uh, there was a spell refresh mimic in yesterday's daily. Uh, just so many things in the daily yesterday that were like just rare things of occurring. Not that a refresh mimic is like, you know, the most lucky thing, but it, in terms of rare, it is crazy rare. And if people are doing their 100% progress, they need that enemy. And some people have been searching for for months because people don't want to do it on a mod, right? They don't want to. They don't want to do a um, you know, a mod where they load in the enemy and kill it. They want to find it either in a regular run or a daily run. So we try to help each other out. And whenever we come across one of those on the daily run, we spread the information amongst the community so people can get the 100% the progress. Which for anybody watching who's confused on what the spell refresh mimic is, it is only on the beta right now. Um, it, it's this right here. They have not pushed it to the main client. Hopefully, if this is on YouTube and somebody's watching, this all, all this stuff will will exist on the main client because maybe the devs will have finally pushed the update. I 
guess since we're doing this for YouTube, might as well. If you ever, I mean, we're not hurting for gold, but if you have Ambrosia and you come across uh, the shiny orb, what you can do is you put a little bit of Ambrosia on your character and uh, you place the orb down and you just walk into it. So, um, okay, I did a bad job at placing it. Uh, let's see. Well, so right now, all I'm doing is I'm going to hold D, which is which is facing to the right. And when, I, when I'm doing that, it's, uh, it's causing my character to pretty much rapidly kick the orb like every frame and it causes it to because normally you, you kick it you kick it it spits up spits up a little bit of gold and then you kick it, it spits up a little gold but if you walk into it your character will kind of freeze in place and then all of a sudden it will just spit out a ton of gold the reason that you want to have ambrosia on you is it's going to explode uh, the, the orb will explode after it you know spits out some gold now, if it doesn't spit out much gold, that means you got unlucky. Normally, you do get a couple hundred gold at least. And that shiny orb on the beta has gotten buffed over, uh, twice, I think, in the last couple months. In any case, this is published on YouTube. Today is October 7th, 2023. If you watch this in 2030, I have to ask. Dunkbot 2.0 hasn't arrived yet, has it? <laughs> Don't listen to Kuba. <laughs> The D D on the keyboard is moving to the right. All right, for people who use W A S D, chat. I, I I hope that you guys are memeing, but maybe you guys are mouse and or maybe you guys are controller players. When I said press D on the keyboard, you're confused. Like what? Which direction is that for my joystick? Which there are some controller players out there. They exist. W A S and the the D. Yeah, I, I apologize. It's not just D. It's the D. All right, we're being pretty thorough here, unnecessarily thorough. Making sure we're not skipping anything. How is there so much zone that I haven't explored? Is that I can't tell what that formation is. Okay, of course. Of course. This is a, actually a hard formation. I, I, was, I, I, I wasn't sure at first when I started digging. Aw, oh, no payout? Give me a break. I will leave you chat for now. Thank you everybody for your love. Stay hydrated and, and <laughs> degenerated. <laughs> Alright, you can do the hydrated part, not the degenerated part. This is an example. I was showing it earlier. This this purple right here, we showed it on a clip a little while ago. That that purple is something that you can change the color of if you uh, capture if you get lucky and you get the right spark. So hopefully by the end of the run, those portals uh, will look different if we if we do everything correctly. Now, what color we turn it into, I don't know. We could turn it into red portals with uh, with if uh, if it turns to blood. You could turn it into whatever like goldish, orangish portals if you turn it into ambrosia. We'll see. Since this evil human being is denying our holy sound effects, I will have to act myself. Behold, bonk cheese. You're doing what to yourself now? Whoa! Look at that chest right there. Coughing up some stuff. Not a terrible wand either. Um, I mean, I'm willing to let it go, but it's not a bad wand. I mean, I could actually swap out the fire bolts, like right here. But the only reason I'm a little bit standoffish on that is I kind of would like to move the digging bolt over to this wand. But this is, you know, some players will grab that wand. It, that, that one's really just a personal, like, opinion thing. And, and a mood. Sometimes I'm in the mood to use a wand like that. Sometimes I'm not. Maybe I'll regret it. We'll see. Ooh, teleportadium. Okay, we have a way out of the holy mountain. That's good. That is good. 
Yeah, Murus Monkey, we probably won't do we we'll see. I sometimes space the shop out till the end of stream since if I'm if I record something for the YouTube peeps. But we'll see. Well is every once in a while if there's a moment of downtime, I will just edit it out for the YouTube peeps. I don't have to watch the shop and still just open it up. We will just have to wait and see. Welcome to Paddy's Pub. I like to recommend to our first timers our signature cocktail, Caribbean Paradise. <laughs> Some people say it's better than busting a nut. <laughs> oh my god, so I had a choice there. And I was afraid to dodge up, like I was afraid to just jump because he was going to hit this and actually would have done more damage to me. I think it would have. I can't remember what my HP was. I may have just tanked the shot and actually taken taken the worst of the two options. I didn't completely calculate it before I took the hit. Hmm. But yeah, Swirls and Chad seems to be having to entertain themselves. For the YouTube peeps that may be confused, um, I do mute the bot with that plays sound effects so I can save the save you guys from it. Now I have gotten comments in the channel in the YouTube channel saying like, you know, hey, I would I would like to hear the the community sound effects, and I'm like, no, you would not. They're having to entertain themselves right now, so they're they're getting a little bit crazy, and that's why the TTS donos and stuff. You may hear them saying weird stuff, and you're like, what? I don't understand. It's usually them just keeping themselves entertained. Thank you, Swirls, for the support, though. Uh, I hate these explosives. Oh, okay, okay, big fella. Uh, me. Get that out of the way. So this guy, how do we want to deal with him? Could just fire bolt him. Oops. Dunk is exaggerating. Chat is crazy right now because they're being repressed and need an outlet. The sounds are normally more reasonable. Bouts of weebery aside. Yeah, I've done a bad job. My HP is at 22. I've been a little, a little too sloppy. This is not a great place to have my HP. And you know what? Since we are trying to go the entire month of October without dying, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to take my own advice. Oh, wait, there's some deadly... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this area, I think we'll have more to offer. What I'll do is I'll probably backtrack to it later. Playing safe? Yes, it is deathless October. I don't want to be a fool and, and die. So uh, I'm going to close the bets real quick. And out of the way. That I'm just getting this this statue cleared off just in case Steve ends up showing up. It's always nice to have a cleared off statue, uh, so I can easily kill him. All right, let's get back to it. Let's get to the action. The so 22 HP. We're gonna hold off the heal for just a moment to see what the Holy Mountain has to offer. Hmm. Tinker with wands this early. Interesting. Interesting. Um, move the spark bolt here so this becomes our main wand digging bolt here so that we have a good method to dig around and the rest of it we don't even need put that up oh yeah we have a circle of stillness so we can kill Steve easily if we if we want to hmm Well, I'm thinking we're going with Tinker because no more knockback. While it is not bad, I don't think we can justify that over Tinker. Especially this early in a run. So, I'm just going to go ahead and yoink this. And I'm going to grab the heal. Which, I, you guys know me, I, I like to explore the level at least a little bit before I grab the heal. But we're doing Deathless October where we're going to try to go the entire month of October without a single death. And I don't want to die to, you know, greed. Chat will never let me hear the end of it. 
Uh, oh, there's no reason to leave the mountain intact, I guess, because we have Tinker. Unless I wanted to try to get an easy pacifist chest on the next level or whatever, but yeah, we're just gonna collapse it. I left the refresh. Oops, I left the refresh there. I'm already spending some HP. <laughs> Reopen. I can't, Mikitsu. We're recording for YouTube, so I can't really. But every time I like do a pause or whatever, I'd have to like edit it. It'd be a whole pain. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Mikitsu. Missed it by like a second. Hmm. So what we need right now is we're looking for some of those purple bat dudes. They bleed slime. And uh, I can use slime to purify our unstable teleportadium and turn it into just regular teleportadium. That's one thing that I wouldn't be surprised of if the, the devs ended up balancing it, because it is very good. So unstable teleportadium, we need to create a little bit of room in our flask. We need to spray out some of it. And then I need to get below this guy. Uh, and then we, we blast him. We swap out our flask, see if I can catch the slime. I did a terrible job at it, I think. 70% uh, unstable, okay, that was not good. It's a pretty crappy job. Uh, that's a lot of fire. There's so much fire going on here. Uh, so we need to find another, some more bats because we only have 26%. If you get enough slime, it'll all purify at once, but I think I only caught a couple pixels. I didn't do the best job. Why is there a rock on top of the gunpowder pit? A rock on top of the gunpowder pit? Here? That's not a pit. I mean, it is gunpowder, though. Ooh, ooh. Legit reopen request. A fair few of us just missed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I Usually during the YouTube stuff, I it's a, it's a pain. I you guys know me. I don't do my YouTube peeps know. There's literally l no editing, low effort, no edits. Pretty much most of my videos. Every once in a while, I've had a video with some edits and stuff. Uh, but I do it so I don't have to do. I just, just fucking clip it and throw it up on YouTube, and it's good to go. Just the lazy content creator methods. YouTube peeps never join the stream. I used to have a full time job, a beautiful wife. Three wonderful children and a great home. Now I live in a one bedroom apartment with the only thing keeping me warm being my Yugus and my Astolfo body pillow. <laughs> oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched <laughs> in sweat. Oh, is this the pit that he's talking about? Kind of a pit. Can I catch some of the slime? I think we got some slime that time. I think we did. Yeah, there we go. So we turned our 100% uh, unstable teleportadium into... Uh, if we empty out the little bit of unstable remaining... Actually, we just shoot this and then kick it upwards. Probably get a bit more slime out of it. Yeah, now it's 94% teleportadium. I'd say it's a fair trade because now we can actually check the next holy mountain if we'd like to. The good edited YouTube videos are from your brother, Dunk. Let him make more. I, I, I mean, I never tell him to stop making them. He just, you know, many people, their, their motivation, their inspiration will come and go. That's true for like a lot of con, like people who are content creators, right? People, it seems like a fun thing, and so people, you know, pick it up for a bit, but then just get burned out. And then they disappear for a couple months, and they come back. But for me, I've always been able to grind away at the whole content creator life because, you know, I really enjoy hanging out with you guys and especially, you know, with having Noita. Noita is like such a an awesome game to grind and just log on every day and goof around. But I think when it comes to like editing stuff, I think it's a little bit more exhausting. That's the reason I don't do like any YouTube edits and stuff because I know that I would get burned out really quick. 
Killed myself with the always cast Circle of Vigor yesterday in the daily. Never been more sad on Noita. Yo, how did you get yourself killed? Did you grab... Did you put like a damage modifier on it there, Shoop? I'm curious. There was a Bloodlust. That's true, Fan Fan. There was an easy access Bloodlust in, in the yesterday's daily. Giga nuke. All right, that's not how. How would that be called? Killing yourself with circle of vigor. <laughs> that's called killing yourself with a giga nuke. Concentrated spells moment. I can't remember if yesterday if we came across a an easy access concentrated spells. I don't feel like I did. I think it was the boomerang perk. Ah, boomerang perk adds a lot of damage. Boomerang perk is actually, I mean, it's it's kind of like the best offensive, well, I don't want to say best, the highest damage offensive perk uh, in the game, just about. No, I mean, Angry Ghost obviously is more, but Angry Ghost needs a lot of setup to make sure that you're doing like significant damage, while boomerang is just, uh, a ton of damage added to your spells. So if you're ever if you're ever really desperate for a lot of damage, if you grab boomerang, damage will not be an issue for that entire run. Now you can get a, it can be a little awkward to get used to the spells boomeranging. You gotta not shoot your don't shoot bombs or anything like that. But if you have a quad, a quad cast, so a four cast and uh, four spark bolts and the boomerang perk, you can go through the entire run, no problem. Literally just boomerang and four spark bolts and you're just running around like one tapping every enemy. I feel like I haven't done a boomerang perk run in forever. It's one of those that's really fun to know, and especially like the first time you use it, you're like, holy crap, this thing is insane. But then once you've done it, you're like, because it, it, it does kill a lot of the wand crafting side of Noita. You don't feel, you're just like, oh, once I grab that, I don't need to hunt for better wands or better spells. I literally just one one shot everything. Now, if you're in a long run, I would not recommend boomerang because you go crazy having to deal with the, the boomeranging element. But in short runs, it is insanely OP. What about plasma boomerang? Oh god, <laughs> there would be there would be absolutely no reason to be shooting plasmas shots whenever you have boomerang perk you're already doing such insane damage at that point that's just greed can you overwrite the uh, boomerang effect with add trigger yes you can yes you can you can do that with any of the perks like if you grab the homing perk and yet you want you don't want a certain spell to have uh that the the homing you know because homing adds it to everything your regular spells the payload all gets it like hey it's very hard to to not have homing on it but if you have an ad trigger whatever you put that ad trigger on it will remove the the uh the perk element of it all right that guy's actually running for his life in my experience the purpose of plasma beam spells is to kill yourself accidentally <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. To this day, I'm still, like, I don't use it that often outside of, like, you know, killing the bridge boss and, and things like that because it, it's so easy to do, like, one misstep. Maybe you don't see a pixel that's right in front of you uh, because it's a dark pixel on a dark background, and then, boom, you're dead. Um... Now, when plasma cutter is your only, oops, your only digging tool, that's always a bit scary. But I do, every once in a while I find myself in that position, so it's not unheard of. At least you haven't been stuck with propane as your only digging. If I have, it has not been recent, I'll give you that. <laughs> the propane only digging is, uh, that's, that's not a, that's not an option. <laughs> I say screw it. I have no digging in that scenario. The Hank Hill run. 
Busting out the propane and propane accessories. Alright, come on. Hank him some shots. Hmm, not bad. Is this a new run? This is our first actual run of the day. We were playing some Twitch integration for a bit. Chat was getting so lucky, I just was disgusted. So we went to go do the daily run for today. I think the plasma spells work great as a stepping uh, stone for peeps that are good enough to start exploring the game a bit more, but don't know how to build powerful wands yet. That is true. That's a really good point there, Gingerbread. Same goes for like uh, the lightning spell as well. Um, those spells that just pop and do a ton of damage, but are very dangerous for the player. They kind of yeah, they they do like kind of bridge that gap. They give you time to learn more about wand building. And at the same time, you can still kill enemies. And it probably helps you be more careful. You, you tra it trains the player to to be be afraid of everything, even your own shots. Tell them the truth about Twitch integration. What do you mean, tell them the truth? You guys, are, you guys were cheaters. You're damn cheaters. Ball lightning is a nasty one. Looks great until you can you shoot it too close. Ball lightning with homing. That's one that you know. When you have a cool build going with it and you're just blasting it everywhere, feels damn good. But you need immunities to really be able to spam it. Yeah, ball lightning is up definitely up there with that whole big damage, but also dangerous for the player. Look, I haven't done a ball lightning build in a. Forever. Maybe I gotta do one of those runs soon. Well, I'm just roaming all over the place, but there really isn't a ton of stuff in this second area today. Hmm. I told you we used up our, our luck yesterday. I like to glance in these pits of coal because remember there can be a meditation cube uh, that will spawn in the coal. I mean, you'll be able to see it. It's not like it's hidden by the coal, but it'll be sometimes deep enough in it that the darkness kind of hides it. If you just do a quick zoom through the coal, you'll be able to see if there's one in there. Homing rocks is also a fun build. Homing rocks are okay. The thing I don't like about the homing rocks is when they start getting stuck all over the place and making those noises, you know, because they're jammed everywhere. Always makes me angry. All right, so what I've done is actually moved all, oops, along the bottom, and uh, I was checking every holy mountain at the bottom to make sure that we didn't have a lava holy mountain, and it uh, seems to be safe. So what we're gonna do is real quickly, we're just gonna check the mountain. And then we there's there's a reason we made the pure teleportation. It allows us to go right back up. This one right here is pretty good. I just don't have anything great to put on it. Uh, energy orb timer is kind of cool. These perks are terrible. Roll them. Um. So being a longer run today, we're going to go ahead and grab extra perk. Makes me a little bit sad because it's like, you know, we're just that much more vulnerable in the early game since we don't have like explosion immunity or something or melee immunity. But we'll be happy in the long run because that means that we get many more mountains with the extra perks. So better, better choices, better options. Uh, all right, well, just go right back up, I guess. I don't really have any plans specifically for that stuff. It's just you grab it so that later you have more to, to build with. So we're going to warp right back up. Yeah, concentrate spells is good. Uh, if, if, I, if I'm going for my first win ever in Noito, or if I'm watching like a newer player, 
and they're like uh, trying to ask for advice on how they could get their like okay what well, what decisions should I make to try to get my first win I would be like concentrated spells a hundred percent without a doubt but being a longer run and we're doing and our goal isn't just like you know getting to the end our goal is you know doing this all this spark stuff hopefully damage will not be an issue contrary spells should not be necessary but contrary spells is is probably a perk that should get a significant nerf because i usually like to play noita in a way that's like you know maximum efficiency making like good decisions but skipping concentrated spells a lot of time is is more just like the perk is so good that I I don't want to just rely on it all the time. But it annoys me because I don't I don't like making decisions just because something is almost like too good. Is it me or is Lumi Drill unbalanced? Lumi Drill's up there. Um, but if you're gonna argue that Lumi Drill's unbalanced, Chainsaw's probably also kind of should be lumped into that category. I would say Ping Pong is probably what makes Lumi Drill really pop off into the unbalanced unbalanced category, because Ping Pong is a zero cost m modifier that team like partnered with Lumi Drill just makes a wand that can work even in the late game. Right here is where you'd like to have concentrated spells because you can easily kill all these flies. Not getting annoyed. You act up as if, you act up as if chainsaw isn't incredibly OP. I mean it is, but when somebody said uh, Lumi Drill's OP, and I'm just like, while that is true, there are probably other things that should be more focused on as like an OP thing that needs to be taken care of. Like I specifically point out contrary spells because it, I feel like that one is like borderline emergency level OP. But the reason I think it gets away uh, is like, you know, they, they the devs are okay with just leaving it that way. It's because contrary spells are one of those perks that's very easy to look past it. Most players, I would say that, you know, people who don't consume like Noita content and everything probably are pretty damn unaware of just how OP that that perk is. I mean, I would be OP if it wasn't for you guys really teaching me the way and being like, you know, this, this perk is amazing. And then over time, I was like, oh my god, this perk is amazing. Because from the visuals, you just think it's a simple spread reduction. But its graphic is a lie. You could remove the spread reduction element of concentrated spells, and it would still be OP. That's how that's how good it is. <laughs> the dunk just blame us for being bad. I would be OP if it wasn't for you guys. Wait, what? What? It was the opposite. I'm saying I would have never, like, you know, Contrary Spells is one of those perks that I would have never really dove into and found out just how good it was if it wasn't for you guys. I don't feel anything is imbalanced in Noida. I think all values are arbitrary and they only exist to give you a platform to fool around on. Yeah. Everything in yeah. Noida leads you to build and learn. This is just colorful math class in the Finnish language. <laughs> true, true. I mean, it's not a multiplayer game, so when you start to talk OP and all that, yeah, I get why some people are like, what's the point of balancing it? But the one thing is, sometimes I, I... Some things are so good that it can almost kill creativity, which, you know, is fine, but... I, again, I like to play Noita efficiently, so I want to I wanna be given decisions and the... Uh, the clear option not being like I want I want to make the choice because of me think grabbing what I think is best not me grabbing what I think uh, is most what's, what's what I'm looking for that allows me to still play Noita like the one that doesn't play the game for me almost 
Like, I have concentrated spells, and I'm just like, well, spell building, I continue, I can continue to spell build, but, you know, for what reason? I don't know. The wand already is going to kill every enemy. You're like, I want to kill every enemy harder. <laughs> I want them to die more. Eh. <laughs> Nothing is that OP, right? Dunk would use a spell in every build ever, right? So the reason Chainsaw, yes, it is, a, you know, probably OP, but Chainsaw at least allows, it's like a mechanic. It's just that Chainsaw feeds into the rapid fire mechanic, you know, the machine gun kind of mechanic in Noita, and that just tends to be the best, the, me the meta build. It probably should just add more benefits to slow shooting wands or slow shooting builds. That'd be the best way to get to counteract it. If you replace Sparkbolt with concentrated spells in this conversation, it'd make more sense. Sparkbolt is the spell to use, but it's not because, I mean, maybe OP is the right word. It's just the most vanilla. It is like the, it is a very basic spell, the one of the lower mana costs. It really doesn't have anything, any attributes about it that are annoying to deal with. And from there, it's, it's like the foundation. It's like the building block to build cool stuff. But I don't really say Spark Bolt on its own is OP. It's OP as a as the as like a foundation to build cool wands. Range makes it OP. You've said it several times. I mean, Noida is entirely without meta. Viability comes with knowledge. Anyone can pump a spark bolt because it is a simple spell. Just add damage and shoot fast. Simple as. The combinations simple. of perks and spells create an infinite abyss of headaches and oopsies. Oopsie. Spark bolt, yeah. Spark bolt's range is pretty sick. There are others. There are other spells that can compete with spark bolt's range. It's just they come with the negative things. Like the arrow, the arrow can pretty much go pretty similar to the, the spark bolt, but the arrow has slight kickback on it. So it's the fact that like it's it's just the most vanilla of the spells without any negative crap. When I say arrow, I meant uh, magic arrow, not the not the garbage arrow. Not uh, we're talking about this arrow, magic arrow. This this arrow. Uh, yuck. Hmm. That arrow belongs in Rimworld. Oh shit, my oh, squeaky chair. <sighs> Getting comfy. Getting a comfy gamer mode. I use arrows sometimes to reduce spread if I'm desperate. I would, it's, I never keep them in my inventory. Like I, when I find myself in a scenario that I'm like, oh, I do need spread reduction, I usually don't have an arrow on me to use it. But it does make sense. At least something. Here's an idea, if Dunk throws Deathless again, uh, the punishment is no more God Gamer hoodie for the rest of the month. The real torture is that every day somebody has to say, you're naked, and then they're like, why aren't you wearing the hoodie? And I have to answer that three billion times. That's the true punishment. There's arrow right there, we were just speaking about it. We'll grab one of them, maybe we'll, maybe we'll find a use for it.
Oh, that's true. Where, where was the light at? Uh... Hold up now. I forgot to grab the light spell. You're right, a punishment should have no downsides. I'm saying I don't think the punishment is what you is is not the punishment that you're aiming for. That's true, do we we did skip a reduced spread, didn't we? <laughs> yeah we skipped a reduced spread, grab the arrow for spread reduction. Like, oh, what? Really what is this decision this making? Right now. He is in <gasps> oh my god, that was an accident. That could have been death. Wow, wow, wow. Because he could he would have froze me, I would have fell to the ground. Uh the little lumps would have bashed us bashed us into oblivion. That was very scary. Uh, N E N E S, N E S, N E S, N E S with a two month there says good night slash morning chat and dunk or slam. Thank you for the two month resub there, N E S. Did he already change portal colors? No, we have not. Not in this run, at least. That's gonna be a bit to set up. Drink the Berserkium, that's a good call. Let's not go insane from our no damage. Tuh. Hit me as they're dying. Very annoying. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Those darn angry lumps. Cheese Danish with a 10 monther hitting us with the love. Thank you, Danish. Appreciate you. I could go for a cheese Danish right about now. I don't want to drink too much. What's better, a tier one or a prime sub? I mean, they're the same. They're the same. But uh, recently, Twitch did make a change where if you're a certain size streamer, like if you're big enough, uh, you qualify where all all subs that are not uh, primes, the streamer gets 70% uh, instead of the usual 50-50, which is pretty cool. All, all tier one subs and uh, gifted subs, which I did qualify. I made the cut. We're big enough, woo! We're a 70-30 streamer, boys. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Nice. Let's see this wand, but all in, nah. I'm close to completing my first 33 orb run. Is there any reason not to go for 34 while I'm here? Not really. Um, Chad, is there any downfalls that you can think of? I mean, if you have the if you have the setup for it, go for it. There is no downfalls I can think of. Can you do thirty four without the special seed? Uh, yeah, you can do it on any. You can do it on any seed. You will just need uh, to use the seed finder 
website so that you know what the X and Y location uh, you need to go to is. Because it changes on every seed. Fury had that whole thing about cheating the 34th. <laughs> he... He was, uh... He was on some copium, I think, that day. He was hoping that we there'd be some discovery made, uh, I think, by trying to come up with other methods, but I don't know if anything ever came of it, sadly. Maybe one day. <laughs> We're all cheaters, Copium. We're all cheaters, baby. Hmm. Fury overdoses on Copium every now and then. He's just passionate. It's, you know, when you're playing Noita and you get excited and there's some theories going around, you think maybe this will be the one that solves the eye mystery. But it almost always ends in disappointment. This acid spitter guy is actually pissing me off. Pacing back and forth. Waiting to make sure there's no stray acid that's gonna go flying around. Uh, so I actually want this concentrated mana. I'll show you why in a second. Uh, I wouldn't mind the double off of that. Actually, wait, this is a non shuffle. Should you just be sticking with this wand in general? Oh, look, there's a. So, the re. Oh, there's a flask thrower. We don't need any flask from him, actually. Let's just kill him. And he's being annoying. There we go. Uh, the reason we wanted the concentrated mana is we can melt steel with it. So, we're going to use that to get to the wands that we're, we were unable to access before. Polymorphemes right there. Firestone right there. Surely, uh, there has to be another way. It would be stupid if the only way to complete the game was uh, to use external tools. I think that was kind of like Fury's uh, uh, thought process as well. He's like, surely there's another way. So far, there's it's yet to be discovered. But maybe one day. <laughs> surely. And the despair kicks in. Concentrated mana... That could have been bad. What is that? Teleportadium. Uh, oh wow, it's actually a pretty good wand right here. Uh, let me grab that. Did I drop? Hold on, I messed up my wands earlier. Let me go fix some stuff. Come back to me, my wand. That's, uh... You are assuming the Noita devs are rational people? Have you seen Noita? <laughs> Moro's monkey also has a point. <laughs> You're assuming they're rational people. I got afterwards like, have you seen Noita? They're insane! What's happening over here with this swapper? He just keeps firing over and over. Oh, okay, that guy's got some hops. Kind of a dangerous moment there. We have Ambrosia if he got really ugly, but I'd rather not have to rely on that. Why don't you have the crit spell and the spark bolt? I guess we could. I mean, right now we don't have anything that's burning through our mana, so we could toss it on there. It's just a good call there, Waffle. It's like little efficiencies like that do help you get through areas a bit more safer. Kind of what Noitz is all about, right? Recognizing small efficiencies, making it life easier on you. The moment you start to skip out on those little efficiencies, that's the... when you get got. You may have just saved my life.
Uh, acid. Eh. Where did I leave my tablet at? Oh, it's right there. Dunk, did you meet the Noita devs? No, I have never met the Noita devs. I've actually never talked to them directly, like like you know, through voice. I've we've I've DM'd a couple on Twitter or stuff like that. I've DM'd uh, well whoever whoever runs the main Nala Games Twitter account. They've I've DM'd with them uh, in the past, but I've never had like a direct conversation with any of them. But I've stopped by like him pulley stream. He's one of the Noita devs, and they usually say what's up and drop some Noita information. Hmm. I think we're ready to move forward. And I. Do I grab this now? I'm gonna grab it because Snowy Depths is just one of those levels. You just don't wait around to find out. Don't wait around to get smacked. Alright, so if we do a Spark Bolt timer into a double, this is not good. This is not good. That's ugly. I don't like it. Just add plasma be morbid. All right, now you're talking crazy. Now I know you've lost your mind. We'll grab this orb though to help me with digging. Could grab the eye there to help us see, because ukos and stuff do pop out of nowhere sometimes. But I also like the darkness to to gauge where I've been. Spitter timer, or spitters, not spitter timer. Uh, put a triple there. Oh shit, hold up. Uh, one, two, three. Alright, a bit more damage here. Spurtive? Spurtive? Or Spurdev? See, dropping off 10k sweat. Nice. Appreciate the lurkage. This wand right here is just like wand 101. Uh, when you when you 101, no 101, uh, where you just package a lot of spells together, and we have a crit there for for additional damage too. But you just get a group and just kind of shoot it at enemies, and it doesn't really take a a genius build to do big damage. Sometimes you just toss a lot of crap together and shoot it at the enemies and it gets the job done. And you can see I'm killing stuff pretty quickly. I need to do a run where I make the strongest burst of air build. The only burst of air builds that I really like are the ones that are like burst of air and then with like an egg trigger. Outside of that, I never really see too many builds with the burst of air that I like. Ooh, that's dangerous. There is a canister. Can you kill the pit boss with plasma orbit? You can. You can. Um, I would probably need to put it on one of the mists that was in the Holy Mountain if I wanted to do that. And then if I did a mist, it probably would want homing. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Quad. Nice. Oh yeah, burst of air rocks. That's true. That is another good one. 
True, true, true. Can you place three spells back to back? What do you mean, denial? Three spells back to back. The two, three spells you have on your first wand. You could place them here or here. It does the same thing. Um, so sometimes I, I will count it out. I'll be like, it's a three cast. So I go one, two, okay. Then another multicast, three, and then one, two, three. This works, but you can also do this. This is the exact same result. It's just visually like... Sometimes whenever I, I put something like this, uh, if I put them next to each other, sometimes I'll miscount the payload. But whenever you put them here, it's very clean to see the multicast, so you don't have to... You have less chance of miscounting, I feel like. Hmm. Spitter timer versus spark bolt timer. And then there's also a bubble trigger there, too. I think most people would argue that spitter timer is better. It goes a little further out there. But just barely. It is a bit faster, that's true. Go. There's a worm just jaws that guy. Popped up and ate him. Oh wait, it was not a Uko, it was this flying skull. There's the worm. Oh my god, oh my god. Whew. Did a bad job dodging there, but it didn't matter. Hello? It's not letting me get to that spot. Drink some of the worm blood. And if we want to, we can take a bit of a gamble here and go into this area. The scary part is sometimes you get blasted by a, a, a like a possessed wand. Because they can have some crazy spells like nukes and whatnot on them. But the wormy vision does help you get around through here a bit safer. Just pray for no crazy dangerous wands, please. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. The reason it's worth sometimes peeking in here, even though there is some chance for really bad RNG to like get you killed. Is it, it isn't that uncommon to run to a heart mage here. This is one of the earliest heart mages that you can find in the game to just boost your HP. Makes the run way faster if you get like a, you know what I mean, like a 300 or 400 HP boost in this level. Makes things way smoother. Hmm. Red Kelly, thanks for the tier 3, 25 month there, my guy. Appreciate the love and support. Says, get ready everyone, he's about to do something stupid. <laughs> Don't say that, Red Kelly. Don't you dare. Got me all nervous now, just spraying Ambrosia. Green shook for something. Oh! Did you see that one? A 
That could have killed me. That was that looked like it was holy lances on it. It was glowing lances. Holy yikes! Yeah, that would have insta killed me. I mean, I guess we could use that as a backpack, couldn't we? Think of the content. Again, that's how you know it's a bad idea. <laughs> Think of the content. I'm a little nervous, is there... Sometimes there can be like an enemy just floating around up here in like in a really annoying way. Oh. Do personal thrower spells apply through Ambrosia? Yes, it'll still apply to you, but obviously you won't be getting hit uh, because you'll be Ambrosia, but it, that can lead to, yeah, you, it was still a pretty big vulnerability there, yes. I was just doing some last minute searching around for heart mage, but I think our luck may have uh, not turned up one for us, but it's no big deal. It's not like we had to get one. Just want to see if we could get lucky. Did he die immediately? Huh. I feel like I'm gonna run into something dangerous. I felt like there was things missing in this zone too. Oh wow, Latali says unless it's personal ice ball thrower, then it cleans the ambrosia off in an instant too. I didn't know that one. It instantly clears it. That's extra scary. So my wormy vision ran out. Guess we're just gonna go. no no heart mage. Oh well, I mean, I feel like lately I've gotten lucky with the heart mages going over here. So I was due for a non heart mage zone. We grab this. Get the twenty five. Good morning there, Duncan. Yo. You gonna check out the International 2023? Of course, EMC, of course. I'm a little sad though that the prize pool is not gonna be like anything what it was. Because they changed like their whole um, focus and they they kind of, you know, aren't really about doing the the awesome compendium and, and cranking up the prize pool and everything. So the players, the players are going to be competing for like a uh, a prize pool that's like one tenth the size of what it was. Use any mods? Nope. We are just playing regular old Noita. Just vanilla Noita. Uh, ooh, now that is a wand right there, my friends. Hold up. So what we can do here hmm. a lot more spammy. So I think our DPS overall should be higher. reason I selected that one is because uh, the the rate of fire the potential for the rate of fire is much better no more FOMO and Dota yeah oh, well, 
wish you guys they... could see this guy right now. He is drenched. Why is this so sweat. dark? Oh wait, my brightness was low. <laughs> No cosmetics is the worst. I've never been like crazy about the cosmetics. Some people love them. Uh, but I was, you know. I always enjoyed like the basic things that were in place. It made the, the, the international kind of exciting. And, you know, whenever you. Uh, certain amounts unlocked, people got even more of the chests, which gave more loots and all that stuff. Or more cosmetics, I should say. That stuff was just kind of cool. And now that that doesn't exist, it feels a little bleh. Oh my gosh. Uh, who was that? Mr. Benu, thank you for the 21 month there. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you for the support. The hats are going to come later, they said, and while it doesn't compare to having a prize pool, you can send money straight to uh, teams via buying stickers. Yeah, I'm interested. I mean, a lot of people are really, really upset about it, but I'm kind of like, I'm going to sit back and see how it all plays out, like, in terms of, like, what, is, what does this do for the future of Dota? Because I don't think, you know, obviously they don't want Dota to die. It's not like their Valve's like, let's kill off this game. So... You know, I hope that they have some big plan, some some bigger picture thing, and we're just getting only getting to see a piece, and we gotta wait and see how it all plays out. Normally, I'd have more faith that it's like just wait and see. They're gonna do something cool, like it'll be worth the, it'll be worth having a smaller price pool and all that. Except for the fact that Valve has done some really weird stuff in the past, uh, stuff that you were just like, you know, even a small indie company would have done a better job. Uh, we actually talking about it just the other day, like back when it was like Dire Tide. Uh, like was it like a decade ago and the whole community was review bombing the hell out of the day the the game because valve wasn't saying anything and explaining if we were going to get it or not even if we weren't going to get it at least say something and it went on for like a couple weeks and people were just going insane and then after a couple weeks they were like oh yeah uh we're not doing dire tide this year our bad and it was just like damn you literally could have made one tweet a couple weeks ago but instead they waited for everything to be like burning down and they were just like, oh yeah. I'm a simple man, I see voice lines, I'm happy. Yeah, they, they do have the voice lines, that is that is one thing. And I do like the profiles. I think the profiles are pretty neat. Um, obviously they're mainly degenerate these days. Everything is like, <laughs> you hover over people's profiles and you're like, oh my God. Volvo give dire tide, yeah, brings back some memories. Hundreds of people were tweeting at Volvo and asking for dire tide. Volvo put out a response to the dire tide, give dire tide messages before Valve did. Volvo's a big company too. How does Volvo respond before Valve? That shit didn't make any sense. And their response was something kind of funny too. I, I can't remember, it's been so long, but it was something along the lines of like, we don't really know what this dire tide thing is, but we hope you guys get what you're looking for or something. It was just something simple. And everybody was like, oh shit, Volvo responded. And then everybody was like, Valve, you piece of shit. <laughs> and they still stay silent, silent for like another week after that or something. It was, it was ridiculous. Because Volvo is the goat. Oh, did you find the tweet? Oh, this tweet aged poorly. It was directly directed at Toby. <laughs> he was canceled. We certainly haven't missed uh, that the people want Dire Tide, but is Dota 2 listening? Oh, shit. So he, they even, I didn't even remember. They even roasted him. <laughs> they even roasted the actual, you know, Dota peeps. That's, that's kind of legit. Imagine they name a card Dire Tide. I'd be like, damn it, I got it. I don't know what the, how much it's gonna cost, but I gotta spend my life savings to get it. <laughs> it's a must buy. 
I just thought about Toby Wan, what the fuck? So it was Volvo, back in 2013. Yeah, if everybody doesn't know, I don't know about the details of it all, but he's one of those people that, uh, you know, when, when people are getting called out, I mean, it still happens to this day, but there was a time period where a lot more people were getting called out for their shitty behavior, um, especially involving uh, uh, the opposite sex or whatever, and uh, I think he was one of those that got canceled. R.I.P. To his career. Oh my god! Hmm. We definitely want the teleport. <clears throat> Volvo's just doing a feedback cycle where they try out ideas, uh, have a high hypothesis about how it will work and then measure the actual result, then they try out something new. Sometimes the ideas work out well, sometimes you get uh, this year's compendium. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, Valve, I don't know if uh, I don't know if they are like the original Battle Pass. There's always somebody else who did it first, but I, I think Valve is the one that is credited with popularizing the Battle Pass, which is these days kind of, for a lot of games, actually got been kind of a bad effect because it's just like companies use it as a way to try to leech money from their community and offer very little. But the original intention, the way that Valve did it, I think was really cool. And some games do make some pretty awesome battle passes. So obviously they're they're pretty good innovators. <laughs> the Simpsons had the battle pass first. Probably true, actually. I won't argue against that. Simpsons did it. Define says Toby got me too'd. Fuck that guy. I actually don't remember the details of like what all went down, but yeah, likely if uh, for somebody to completely vanish from the Dota community, they probably did something pretty goddamn bad because there are some pretty damn shitty people that are still in the Dota community and they have like, <laughs> they have done some really bad stuff. So to get canceled from the Dota community means you were extra bad. 2GD? No, he's back. He's back. Uh, 2GD... So, remember when... Uh, uh, damn it, which TI was that? At the, I'm trying to remember which international that was. Was that an international or was that a major? He played League? Disgusting. But anyways, Gabe had said... Uh, he called him an uh, an ass, which two GDs. Uh, James said James is an ass, and we'll never will not be working with him again, or something like that. But then, you know, oh, it's Shanghai Major. Okay, so I thought okay, it was a major. But anyways, years and years later, I guess time heals all wounds. They brought him back. They did it like kind of in a funny way. I just remember him being like, "What the hell? He's here!" And the whole community was like, "What the fuck? He's back!" Posted a great video about the best perk and Chase checked this. I don't want to traumatize the YouTube community with woad content. We'll watch it after. <laughs> I'm a very knowledgeable wizard and I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Ah, uh, we're just talking about Dota 2 and game stuff and nonsense. Nothing important. Nothing Noita related. Right now I'm just kind of burning time as I'm trying to power up in Noita. Kind of struggling to find a ton of HP. I was hoping I'd have more health by, uh, by now. What do we have going on here? The fact that there was only electricity for a moment? Wait, what? That guy was electrified. Must be in an Uko. An Uko's up there smacking people around. That's an Ambrosia flask. I want that. Shield Pog. Shield's okay. Oh, it's this guy. Don't break my Ambrosia! You broke my Ambrosia. You had one job. No big deal. We just grab out our Ambrosia. I 
Are you kidding me right now? Uh, I'm definitely going to end up pouring it all on the ground. It's like a 90% chance. Oh, 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 oh. Can I, can I catch it in the flask as I'm standing here? I don't think this is working. Oh, this is though. Alright, what are we looking at there? 1% water squirt? There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Woo! Character was actually stuck on a corner there. No, I'm not, I didn't miss the heart. I just would, if I dive into the water for the heart, I was afraid of it costing me my life. Still, um, hundred and six HP. We're at three twenty eight health. One more heart, and I'll be kind of happy with where, where our HP is at. Darn snipers. That's true. Holly's right. We are in canister killing range. Probably shouldn't even allow Noita the opportunity to canister us. Black hole. Good, good, good. Oh, look at that. Hey, explosion immunity. We're anti canister now. Though the shield would have been kind of nice too. I have a question. Where do a baby where do baby Hisi come from? Well when a mommy Hisi and a daddy Hisi love each other very much. <laughs> the best I got. They get caught in 4K. <laughs> um, what's gonna be our? I don't really have anything crazy here. Um, I know what I'll do. Trick question, baby. He see don't exist. They're just born fully grown. There you go, statues there. This here, shoot that, run over here, we smack him. Over here. Good, good. The drill in the Heesey base is involved in making the baby Heesey? <laughs> what? Any reason to not collapse the Holy Mountain? I don't know, actually. I, sh I should have just collapsed it. What we, yeah, it's true. The Bringing Steve was just a, was just a silly variable to add in. I should have I should have went through there, collapsed the mountain, then shot out the black hole so that we have a way into the previous level. Just angering the gods for no reason. Not playing efficient. Playing foolishly.
that break it this yelling shop probably won't do a shop till the very end since we're doing the YouTube stuff uh what the fuck oh I forgot I didn't swap my thing back on there whoops black hole uh, plasma orbit squid squid kill please hmm Mm -hmm. He only copies the plasmas as a response to that, right? Whoa. <laughs> Break it says I'm gonna leave mean comments. Don't do it. Oh wait, Latali's saying black hole can be copied, he thinks. That would be kind of risky if he ended up copying Black Hole. That could get us killed. I'm gonna leave that there in case we want to get some heals from me later. Oh, it's a fake. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. Ooh, looky here. Got homing being offered up. This, uh. I like that. Oh, wait, there's a double trigger. What am I doing? I like that. That's true. Wot says don't buy before visiting the eye room. He is right. We could have uh, we could be getting something good here that makes that other stuff pointless. Uh, we do have the circle of stillness. So you're thinking uh, so plasma beam orbits on circle of stillness with homing attached. Easy, that's a super safe kill. Okay, we'll do that one then. No risk. Oh, yep, you, <laughs> what was right? Shouldn't go buying stuff. Uh, okay, I don't really want that one. Circle of Acid, not too interested in that. I like the big homing over the short homing, but this one was a little bit silly because I like the spark trigger over that one. Um, there we go, give us some nice range. Is Wot ever wrong? Always. Yikes. That was a... Uh... Stop laying on the side. Very annoying. Oh, oh, oh! That was kind of weird, but nice. Just wanted to have a little bit. How much? 2% uh, blood. 1% blood. There we go. Just having some extra for insurance. Hmm. We could do this explosive box with the duplicate. Oh, the game's gonna lag like crazy, Wode says. Should not crash though. Hmm. 
How does the circle of stillness plasma with homing work on the the alchemist? Will it be as clean? Because he doesn't. He, isn't he going to convert over the circle of stillness? Like, won't he just kill it off when his shield goes up? Circle's not copied. No, the for the alchemist. Oh wait, there's a dude up there with a the wand. Did I see a wand? No, I did not see a wand. I'm crazy. Oh, well, uh, Latal is responding to Wode saying it was going to lag. He's saying he doesn't copy the circle of stillness, so it won't lag. I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Hey, Alan, with the eight-monther says hello, all. What's up, Alan? Thank you, thank you for the eight months of support. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. We are just doing a spark shifting run. Whoop. Oh, the worm came through. It was partying. I want to see what the bridge boss offers up for wands, and then we'll make our decisions from there. Acceleration. Don't mind if I do. It's for a heart. A. Making a very special video. Oh, it's beautiful just for you, Dunk. That kind of scares me. Definitely feel afraid. Oh. Got that wormy, wormy love and juice, but uh. Didn't see any worms coming, or didn't hear any worms coming for me. There is a pouch right there. In fact, you know what? Let me just go ahead and grab that pouch now. Because we're probably going to need it later. realized we probably don't want to bridge boss before we have a way to dig a safe route against his bridge boss I mean it's almost certainly gonna die right away but I don't wanna I wanna risk something going terribly wrong it's the pouch used for uh, we're gonna be using it for fungal ships later Using the pouch, we can scoop up some fungus and create like a, an infinite amount of fungus, which will get our player high. And when your player gets high, you can actually do, uh, you can shift materials. So for example, something like this lava lake right here, this entire lake of lava, you could convert it over to an entire lake of ambrosia. Entire lake of water, it's safe, you know, just... Whatever the hell you can think of. Alright, Latali is super confident that uh, our circle of stillness setup will be fine, so let's do it. Homing, plasma, this. So, homing costs 70, 100, so it's 170. Yeah, so we're good on the mana cost there. Let's see, shoot. Looking good, looking good. I forgot that that thing uh, doesn't time out very quickly. I was being a little bit silly. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to leave this right here, I think. So the boss should come around that corner and just get absolutely blasted. Let's hope. Touch this spot here. This general area is where the boss should uh, spawn in. Oh my god, get around that corner. He seemed to go pretty high up. You know what I mean? Like he got... Like he was getting hit for a bit. Okay, that does make me nervous. But we do have this. So if we cast that... Hey, kills it off. Nice. Actually, just a little bonus here. Uh, I guess we could use that on the pyramid boss too. That was a clean kill. Latali was right. Smooth. This one's pretty crazy. Let me stare at this for a bit too. That one's more disappointing. This one's definitely disappointing. Um, let me real quickly set that down. They are explosion immune. Pyramid boss real fast. Oh my god, this is terrible. I was hoping it'd dig a bit faster than this. How far to the softer material? I feel like it's usually not that far up. Is two cast uh, just always better than one cast if you're doing a chainsaw build? Not always. Two casts uh, can sometimes limit your creativity it can open up some potential but it can also limit some some builds let me out of here Can't you use glue for getting high? You can, but it's, I mean, it's way easier to work with fungus than it is to work with glue. Got our character stuck here. All right, we're gonna attach the plasma onto this circle of stillness and do the exact same thing we just did for the bridge boss, but we're gonna do it on the pyramid boss now. And Plasma can actually kill the Pyramid Boss even before he opens his mouth. Which is pretty nice. Alright, um, I'm trying to get the enemies away from being around me because I don't want to have the Circle of Stillness to go flying at me. Alright, spawn in the boss. I shot the plasma circle thing at him. It destroyed him. Then we use the explosive detonator to kill off the projectile. And what are we working with here? Not a wand that I'm interested in, but there is a heart underneath this stuff. And I think I will probably want to take one or two of those spells. Let me just check if this is our second attempt uh, at finding a heart mage. Just another area that it has a chance of spawning them. So we'll see. Our first, our first one was earlier. We went by that one area with the with the orb was in the dark area. But we had drank worm. We had drank some wormy vision, so it helped us see. That's 
why I risked it earlier, but now it looks like this area also doesn't have an easy access now. Easy access. Art mage. Oh, gotta watch out for that guy. There's two of them spawned in here. I feel like that's pretty unlucky. Oh well. Grab this. Didn't mean to grab. We don't want that one. Oh what? I can't reach that? Oh well. I doubt we'll need it anyways. Use plasma to dig. That that plasma shouldn't dig that. We don't have, we need a plasma cutter. Unless for some reason there's some special interaction there that I'm not aware of. Random projectile could be digging. <laughs> it also could be something very dangerous. It's not a big deal. It's not like we needed it that badly. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's up, Tap Shell? Oh, you know what I could have done? Actually, this could still work. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think of coming up with an explosive build to use on the alchemist. Something like... Um, I don't know if the homing is necessary to be there at all. Chat's so quiet without the sounds. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a peaceful, it's a peaceful time with chat. How much can you actually go? Wrong, how much can actually go wrong with a random projectile at, at a distance with explosion immunity? Don't forget that uh, random projectile isn't that the one that also has omega black hole in the loot pool, which is a instant death. I think it's a pretty decent setup. So what's happening here is I... So the Alchemist is really weak to, like, explosive stuff. The problem is I don't really have, like, anything explosive. That's why earlier I grabbed this magic missile, so I at least had something that did explosion damage. And then I'm using the copy three random spells and the copy random spells, trying to copy as many of the giant uh, magic missiles as I can. So hopefully when I go up to fight the Alchemist, I can shoot this, and then it'll just copy it. These will copy a ton of these... Uh, giant magic missiles. I don't think the homing is really necessary to be there, but who knows? Maybe it'll play a role. Oh, Mega Black Hole's only in the static projectile one. Okay, that's not as bad then. Not as, as scary. Trogdor says, why is Chad oppressed today? Are we going to YouTube? Hopefully. I don't know if the run's been very entertaining. I'm not sure if the YouTube peeps. So we've mainly just been ranting about random stuff. But, you know, maybe we'll throw it up on YouTube just so that the YouTube people know we didn't forget about them. I feel kind of bad, but, I mean, it, it, to, to be fair, to my YouTube peeps, so they don't think I abandoned them, I have been waiting for the devs, uh, These all these beta patches have not been pushed to the main client. So I, I've been waiting mainly to have those pushed to the main client before we really dove into a lot of the the deep mechanics and potential of new stuff in Noita. But 
You know, the devs are just kind of, you know, pacing, not to rush them. They're, they're just doing their own thing, right? And because of that, it makes it unpredictable. We don't know when the beta patch is going to be pushed to the main client. Uh, they're not on a timeline or a deadline or whatever. So I just keep thinking, eh, we'll probably, I'll make some, I'll make sure to, to focus on pumping out some some videos talking about some of the new stuff once it's pushed to the main, pushed to the main client. Because I don't want to rant on something that then doesn't get put into the main client. But Again, it's been so long, I have actually started posting some videos that contain content that may not make it to the main client. And then those videos get, then you'll have people being like, wait, I tried to do this and it doesn't work. That's why in my in my titles, I tried to put like, uh, you, you know, if I have something in the video, like in the title, I put like in parentheses, nerfed or removed, depending on if it was changed or something. So if you're ever going through my YouTube videos, make sure to pay attention to the title to see if, so, if it says nerfed or removed. Because they do make changes from time to time that does affect the videos that I've put out. And if one's ever like extremely changed in chat once uh, it, it feels like it's just, it's just confusing, I, I, I will remove videos if it's necessary. Um, but usually I've, a I've asked chat in the past when I say like, do you think I think I should delete this video since you know the mechanic has changed or it's been removed entirely? And that's usually how I make the decision if I want to just change the title or delete it straight up. <laughs> Dunk wants to treat his YouTube as his resume, but it's just the same thing as here. <laughs> Maybe some truth to that quote. Uh, okay. We need to dig down. Uh, what I did is I looked at the background, lined myself up with the building, or at least a little bit to the left of the building. Which means I'm pretty close to our friend. I'm always nervous about polymorphing over here. No poly, no poly, no poly. And we're just going to shoot our very explosive wand directly into the crotch of the alchemist, and hopefully that's enough to... Oh. Kill him off. Ooh, that was not enough. Oof. Wait, what? It emptied all the charges? Didn't really do like two shots. What? Hold up now. I'm a little confused. Yeah, we can use the plasma setup. But why did it empty all the charges? Did I take that many shots? I didn't feel like I did. Copy random uses the charges? I didn't even know that, honestly. I mean, I never use copy random on things with charges. I didn't even know it used the charges. That's so disappointing. What spell could I throw on him to use the explosive detonator there, Latali? Oh, would you just spam it? No, I don't know, actually. How, how would I... Uh... The boss? Follow me up there? If you one-frame it? Oh. Please contact us. We have important news regarding a recent chlamydia test. <laughs> Clinic? <laughs> I understand. Where's the boss at? Is he over here? find out where the boss went he went oh he aggroed to an enemy and ran inside the lab lame okay we had to wait on the debuff to go away let's 
is in here. Never had him run this deep in. Oh, I hear him, yeah, he's nearby. Oh boy, that is electricity. There we go. That tore him up. I was pretty disappointed though. I thought uh, the copy random on those missiles would do much better. That was a bit lame. Oh well. Missiles, you're out of here. I don't love you anymore. Oh, 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 okay, 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 Polymorphing. I see you. New guy's in the corner puking his guts out. <laughs> okay, uh. Black hole with the alpha. Alpha casts a copy of the first spell in your wand. Black hole is the first spell in my wand. And we have infinite black holes. Good, good. Really don't have any setup for music notes right now, but probably would be smart to grab them. I don't want to do another music note build today. I'm not in the mood. Freeman. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy. This guy. Hello, this message is for Dunker Slam. It's regarding your application to the Small Wiener Club. I'm glad to say you got in. In fact, we feel you are setting a new standard on what a small wiener is. And in fact, we, we have had to kick out several long-standing members due to the sheer shift in standards you have brought about. Please call back at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Congrats. You guys are so stupid. <laughs> Holy shit, the fog. What the fuck? You see this? This fog really came pouring in. And <laughs> what the fog? What the fog is this? You're curious why I'm going back over here is I figured since we're on the surface, just might as well grab the free gold. No DuckTales chat, I'm sorry to break your hearts. I just figured if we grab the gold now, maybe we can get lucky and get Iron Stomach. And then we can get ready to do some spark shifts, that would be nice. How do I unsub? You don't deserve the DuckTales. All right, I don't know if I'll collect like that much. I just want to have enough that I can do some significant re-rolling. I'll make my own ducktails with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Poor chat. Alright, so we have the fungal pouch. We're gonna need to collect whiskey and lava at some point. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Ducktails. Woo woo. Every day they're out there making ducktails. 
Beautiful. Tales of Daring Do. Bad and <laughs> TTS just got him off. TTS got tired of that shit. Gooba, thanks for the support. Um Hmm. We need to find a spell to produce whiskey, otherwise it's, it's gonna be very annoying trying to get flasks of whiskey. Any event stream ideas yet? Uh, I'm still undecided. I've been jumping around on like thinking uh, doing a 100% uh, 100% progress run. That one's possible, but that one would be a hell of an adventure. Because you gotta remember, doing like the Omega Black Hole means we'd have to do the Sun Quest. Mm. Aren't those huge whiskey barrels pretty common in the first zone? But not too bad, but usually this takes a lot of whiskey. Like, it's usually you don't get it on like your first attempt, it takes many attempts. Are you going to get the Mimics in a 100% progress run? It will be a rough one. If you're curious though, that we have created a successful um, Spell Refresh Mimic and Heart Mimic farm before. If you type exclamation mark Mimic in the chat, I think you can see a clip of uh, an example of a farm that I created. Basically what happens is it just... Um, you you do in the you do the infinite chest rain, but before you do the infinite chest rain, you set up uh, a scenario where I guess I can, maybe I can show it in the clip. Let's see. So we set up a scenario where there's black holes. Uh, per, these are permanent. These are infinite lifetime black holes, and we are just chain polymorphing ourselves, causing the uh, utility boxes rain. Rain is actually what we're doing. So infinite utility boxes will rain down, and as they rain down, they fall into the infinite black holes, which causes them to open up, which then they, the, the, the contents inside the box drop down. Below it, we have water. Five, the water... Four, three, oh shit, God. some of the utility boxes... Oh, there you go. See, the, see how the utility boxes are just getting pulled into it, like, immediately? Utility boxes are just falling into it and opening? Well, if you look at the very bottom... It sucks because my... You have, to, you have to look down here where my thing's in the way. You'll see it floating in the water. You see that spell refresh floating? I paused because I was all excited. Um, that was my very first, uh, I think, natural spell refresh mimic. But yes, the water below it will, if it floats, you know that it is an actual uh, mimic. So this is an example of a farm that you could create to guarantee it in a run. Natural. Okay, well, I mean, when I say natural, in the sense of there was no mods or anything like that, we we did pretty much force it to happen using a, this farm, but no mods. It is regular Noita. Which side was the hourglass on? It was on the right side today. How will you do it and a heart mimic? Well, you do the exact same thing, but you would do it with chests. Um, I, I think it's like utility boxes, I don't think, drop hearts. So you'd use the utility boxes for the spell refresh mimic and regular chest for the heart mimic. Cactus says I found two natural spell refresh mimics. Giga Chad. Giga Lucky. This guy. This guy. Maybe try some crazy no hit run like no suff or let's suffer together. No suffer together. <laughs> um, that would be kind of rough for an event stream though, because I do it in one stream. So imagine I do like a long no hit run and I get hit, having to restart and just do it over and over in a single stream. I could get rough. I could get really rough. No mods, just abusing game mechanics. True. True, true, true. Did you know the God Run on all Dark Souls series hitless? 
I have no, I've never actually played Dark Souls. I know, I know. I'm a disappointment. I'm just grabbing up those orbs to buff my health since I haven't gotten a heart mage. Just cranking up the HP as much as I can. And now we're back on track here. Oh yeah, the free wand room. Almost forgot. If there was ever a game where abusing game mechanics was intended, it would be Noita. That's the way I look at it there, uh, Lazius. In Noita, it's intentional, so it's allowed. Like, you can't judge me. You know Happy Hob? I feel like this is a name that's been brought up before section. I kind of recognize the, the username. I take it he's the, the Dark Souls player? Those were disappointing. Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, plus Sekiro, plus Demon Souls in a row without getting hit. In a row? Meaning like if you were on Sekiro and you already did all the other ones hit list and you get hit, you restart back to the beginning at 1. Oh my god. Based? Sounds insane. I only know a little bit about those games and it sounds insane. I'm sure if I knew them really well, I'd be like throwing up with fucking confusion on how that's even possible. Oops, I just shot a healer in the face. I'm sure he deserved it. There's another healer. Ow, thank god for explosion immunity, though that just, that's gonna kill the healer right there, isn't it? Yep, he's gonna walk right into that. That fool. Oh, it was just an egg. Flum. We're just gonna move to the jungle pretty quickly, try to find some better stuff. chest there, gotta make sure I move out of the way so in case there's polymorphine or something. Oh, there was not. Oh, 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 oh. What does he got on that thing? Uh, ooh, I'm actually interested in that speed up and the reduced recharge could be interesting. Let me try to get a hold of everything here. black holes. Yee! You have explosion immunity? Yeah, I know, but I still don't trust any wand shooting stuff, ever. We're going to take extra life. There's a backup in case things go bad. And I will grab the heal. Should get a decent wand upgrade from this level. Jungles are place for some more damage. There's a heart.
See if we can find a heart mage. The telly mage just fucking appeared for a second, blasted, and it was gone. Just keep grabbing wands, it's scaring me. Spark shift, that's the goal of the run. Oh my gosh, something picked up that wand. Is that that? Is that a telly mage carrying it? I don't even know if I killed him. I didn't kill him, did I? He's still gonna be tellying around, shooting that crappy wand. What is a spark shift? Hopefully soon, Kazaa, you'll get to get it all go on a, on a deep rant on what it's all about. First, I need to get the setup. And to get the setup, I need a better wand, and I'm just taking for everything, uh, taking forever to get everything going. Nether hearts, that's good, 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 good. Heart mage, where are you? Is there some upgrades I could be making? Because this wand is just letting me, letting enemies chip away at me the whole time. Two hearts so far laying on the ground. The reason it's worth letting them lay there is because one heart mage can make a single one of those hearts worth like, you know, 20 hearts. Just leaving it for a bit is a small price to pay. And then in worst case we go back and pick them up. Whoa! That has got a lot going on. When I travel to three to four parallel universes, uh, the whole world looks like I have all-seeing eye perk, uh, even though I don't. Anyone know why? This is that's normal. Uh, that's just like a, a, the game kind of bugs out whenever you start to go to more than two parallel worlds. I think. And it'll make it where you can see constantly in the other uh, world. So that's normal there. Bonobo. Okay, that. That. This. I don't think I need that, but I'll do it anyways. for a decent non-shuffle. That's all. That's all we want. Come on, game. Yeah, we can slap the heavy shot on there now. Uh, if we do that, though, this has to turn to a double. 
This goes out. Heavy shot goes on. We think we'd come across something by now. Actually, let me just go to the next uh, shop real quick since we're already down here anyways. Okay, yeah, we have some, some potential upgrades. Oh, and we got stronger hearts. I forgot the heavy shot's going to give me some feedback on that thing. Grab stronger hearts, make sure we got enough, enough HP. Turn that into our Tele Wand, we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> you might not like that pose, but that's how it is. This is called shrimping. Shrimping ain't easy, baby. I'll sit up. I'll sit up. I was I was just sleep gaming. Build anything other than a machine gun for once. We really don't have anything great though. That's the. I mean, I guess we could do a homing phasing kind of thing. But I don't know if we have anything that really stands out with that build. Not gonna do anything with lightning because I'll just get a kill. Saying they want to see something different for a change. Want something to mix it up for once. But maybe that'll be what uh, they were looking for. Like this. So this is gonna need some uh, something to speed it up soon. could do kind of weird actually wait what am I yeah that's pretty jank I guess we'll just stick with that, it's whatever. Also, we'll throw a crit onto here because we're slowing down the wand so much. And might as well throw some light on it. If we had a triplicate, that would, that would help. I think there was triplicates offered in the first shop. The wand just chilling here. Oh, that's that one from before. Could be cool. 
wand was almost cool. That damn oil trail. Pretty spammable, right? We remove the light, remove the crit. All right, let's let's try that. Twenty degrees of spread's kind of ugly. At least we don't run out of shots that quickly. What do you want? Insta kill heart. Yeah, you're yeah, you're right. The wand would insta kill heart mage if he gets nearby. Well, if he, if he's close enough for the homing to smack him, that is. Hmm. seems. I don't know what we saw. We swapped something on that that's really causing a damage decrease, I feel like. Hmm. Yeah, unlimited charges, that could be kind of fun, but uh, freezing gaze is pretty limited. have like 150 or 200 mana at least, or 200 HP just laying around in terms of uh, hearts that we haven't picked up yet. That's an interesting wand. Huh. Open the shop while you ponder the wand. I think we're just gonna do the last shop of the day as a double shop. Patience, patience. Damn, I can't decide on that one. I feel like there's, there's definitely something cool that could be done with that. Another heart. Alright, at this point I'm just like, might as well pick up these hearts. <laughs> just say screw the heart mage. I'll have so much HP anyways. We don't need a heart mage. Real 
real quickly. Oh, we don't have anything to that, that currently can hurt the these big spiders. Oh, actually, we do have a drill, don't we? I think they, they do take drill damage. That's the only thing. freezing gaze real quick because we can use that to quickly kill the dragon even though it has a limited amount of charges since we have tinker with wands we just edit it on blast the dragon edit it off easy all right go grab the hearts i guess i don't even know where i left them all two other hearts, but I think it's more like three or four other hearts. Yeah, that was, a, that was a, the corpse of a chest. It wasn't actually a chest. Please heal. Yeah, my health is low. thinking is what we can do we can swap out like a spark bolt here for example actually swap out the spitter bolt and then put on a freezing gaze and we shoot that and hopefully it'll blast the dragon I don't even know if phasing and stuff is necessary it's okay not the greatest then we can just rotate that back off. Uh, this wand looks pretty sad. And it is very sad. Grab the heart. Anyway, there's a there's a heart that I'm there's more than one heart that I'm forgetting, but I definitely know of one heart. That's missing. Oh there it is. Meteor, your explosion immune? Yeah, but there really isn't any... I don't know, I'm just constantly be burning myself. Actually, it's fire immune, I think, that you want to be with Meteor, isn't it? It, does, it doesn't hurt the player anyways, you just burn yourself after a while. But I don't think you take... You don't even need the explosion immunity for it, if I remember correctly. 725, not bad. It is looking more and more likely that we're going to have to go to a parallel world to make this run happen. We got two more holy mountains to try to get to Iron Stomach. But you don't have to have Iron Stomach, it just makes things a lot better for us. You okay, Chase? You seem kinda sleepy. DNKZZZ. <laughs> I'm a little bit, a little bit tired. Got a little bit of that sleepiness going. That guy. Our want's not the greatest, but chat was wanting us to try to mix up our build a bit, so I decided to swap it to something that's not quite the same as our usual. Appreciate the love there, Calcifer. Yeah, 
Yeah, meteor is a safe explosion. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Um, dice. Normally I would grab, but uh, the whole point of this run, we're only get, we only need iron stomach left, I, I think, and then we can start doing some fun stuff. Hmm. Dice. With uh, Iron Stomach, can you have infinite shroom vision? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, when a, when a, you're talking about when like a, a fungal shift happens, it uh, clears out all the shrooms. But uh, in between fungal shifts, yeah, you could just eat a ton of that stuff. Dice forever. Dice is nice. All right, all right. God damn it, chat. Why do I listen to you? Why must you play with my heart? That was a polymorphine shot. Uh, Alright, we're gonna eat the corpse of that dude right here. Where is he? Yep, there we go. Oh man, I just ate his corpse and then ate something that was not his corpse. So I threw up all my poly immunity. <laughs> Whoops. Barfed up some poly immunity. Unfortunate. Yo, hold up. Things are getting kind of real. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Jesus, this neutralized spell has made it where I just stand in here. Bit scary. It is 11 capacity, better stats, might as well swap over to it. And it actually has remove explosion on it too. It's kind of interesting. I fear the moist mob. I fear the moist mob. Not bad. Not bad. What's up there, Kerr? What were you up to, man? Show us an effective expanding sphere build, please. I will show you an effective expanding sphere build whenever chat teaches me one. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been impressed with any of the builds I've seen with it. Nothing that I've ever been like, ooh, I gotta try that. They're always like, meh. I'm sure there's one out there. I'm just not aware of it. All the slurps coming out for Kerr. Continuing the daily from yesterday, pausing mid breaking the re reroll. Okay. Glad you're getting some good mileage out of that one because that was a pretty special daily. I was talking about it earlier with Chad Howe. We've been getting a lot of lucky dailies lately, and that one was no exception. That one was like extra, extra lucky. Today's daily, though, is pretty simple. I guess a lot of people would like starting with Tinker. Tinker's a uh, was in the first Holy Mountain. I think maybe we had to re-roll for it or something, but some people would really love that start. I like it. It's convenient, but it's not like a you know guaranteed victory kind of start. Uh, nothing too hype there. Iron stomach right here at the end. Yay! Woo! Alright, so we iron stomach it up. Very nice, very nice. You didn't reroll for Tinker? Oh, so the reroll, the reroll, I mean, the uh, Tinker is by default. I couldn't remember. 
Now Gamba? No, we are not Gamba, you crazy little bastards. No way. Coward. No, because if I Gamba and I get screwed, the same people that tell me to grab Gamba will then shit talk me for the entire October about how I lost Deathless October. They are setting me up. I am not gonna get I am not falling for that. I know you too well. <laughs> Max says correct. Do it. Do it. The coward was the only guy who survived the Rimworld colony, <laughs> Dr. Honk. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably gonna re-roll that. I was just trying to decide if I want to do the extra capacity, and I'm like, eh, it seems kind of wasteful. What does Iron Stomach do? It makes it where you can drink stuff that normally would like hurt you and it and it and it won't. Like I can drink lava and, and stuff like that and it won't bother me. Actually I wonder if it'll try to burn me though. I think you can still drink it regardless. I, I should be fine. I would like fire immunity. But yeah, you can drink stuff and eat stuff that you normally shouldn't be able to that would hurt you. Repulsion. You finally beat the alchemist. Hey, congratulations there, Verz. <laughs> Extra. No, we don't need that one. Um. All right, we'll grab this just to keep us safe. All right, apparently we'll grab this too and this. All right, we just grabbed them all. No reason to think about it. All right, the goal now is to go find a flask of whiskey and we can begin doing some of our spark shifts, hopefully. All right, get rid of that thing. Oh. Chat and YouTube might like it. Do I want to play this? Let's... Wait, what the hell? What is this? If we were to look at this, I feel like, I feel like most of them are Twitch integrations. Let me look around here. Why am I not seeing any Twitch integrations? I specifically excluded Twitch integration. 
Hey, hold on now. This is this is a death compilation of of many years. Many years. Like let me let me look around here. I need I need a microscope to to zoom in on some of these bad boys. For example, why am I seeing so much acid right here? What is that one? Oh, let me mute this so I don't go there from all the sounds. Oh, that was the that was the recent okay, that actually happened recently. But that was a, that was a pure evil run. That was pure evil. It was um the one of the worst fungal shifts you can get in the game, which is flammable gas to acid, which was very very bad. Um I mean some of these are come on, let's see. Let me zoom back here a little bit. It is only a month. There's no way. Only a. What are you talking about? It's only a month. How long have you had that hoodie for? I wear this every stream. And I've had it for like five years? Something like that. God damn it, Salted Cat. God damn it. If I look at the very bottom right one, this clip down here, you guys can't see it because my camera's in the way. But I can see the shine of my forehead down there. And I have long hair. That was back in like 20... What was that? Probably like 2021? 2022? It's COVID days. So don't act like you didn't go digging through some old ass clips there, Salted Cat. How dare you? <laughs> Alright, god damn it. Okay, Salted Cat got me pretty good. I did not see that one coming. I didn't think it was... He was actually in high effort. Fucking shit talk right there. 2021 was six months ago. <laughs> okay, that, first off, I don't think you understand how time works. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, actually, you know what? We can just go straight up. Bingo glasses. Uh, I have not seen the. I don't think. Have I seen the ultimate killer today? I don't think so. I don't think I have. Yes, during Twitch integration, you guys voted for him. Did you? Are you guys just trying to help out factory? Don't lie to me. Yes, you did. All right, all right. I'll believe you this time, Chad. Uh, factory upgrade. Bingo. There you go. No more bingos today. Today we're focused on spark stuff. The ultimate killer is the little green guy. Um, you can call him the, the horror monster. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's at the very bottom. That little fella right there. He's pretty rare. But during Twi TI, Twitch integration and stuff, he'll actually check and vote him in, so that's why they saw him. Um... Alright, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for a whiskey flask. Or at least a, meth a method to get whiskey more often. Because there are spells that allow you to farm whiskey. go now we have a way to infinitely heal ourselves as well because all we have to do since we have the Greek letters we can just use them to copy the heal bolts be full health whenever we need ultimate killer killed by zero so the ultimate killer himself is not that deadly 
Uh, whenever you kill that tiny green dude, he actually gives off a slime explosion. It's like it's like a nuke, but um, but with slime. And so the the ceiling will cave in. That's what makes them dangerous. Is because when the ceiling caves, you won't die to the enemy specifically. You die to the the after effect, which is like the ceiling caving in, which would not credit the the, the horror monster with the kill. Uh, recoil damper. I do like that. Another heavy shot. Um, I guess. Have you gathered fungus? I have not. I have a pouch, so let me just go ahead and scoop up a little bit while we're roaming around in here. There's some right here. Just drop it from high up. More. And we should have enough. Oh no. Plum and slime. Soon, indoor cat. Soon. Ooh, look at that. Wonder if this wand is worth the trouble to swap over as our main wand. That always cast is annoying, but not that bad. Those portals, portals are unlocked by killing the Leviathan. Yes, those red portals that I took to get to this area, you have to kill the Leviathan at least once in like the history of your, your Noita runs, and it will make it where those red portals are there for the rest of your runs. Um, It's not a big deal if you don't have them. It just saves me like a couple minutes. I just use them to get around quicker. I guess I wouldn't be able to fire off everything. Yeah, let's just grab off the Admana. There's no reason overthinking it. Admana, toss that on there. Just look, looking for a whiskey flask. We could go to Parallel Worlds and look in the first zone since, like chat was saying earlier, it is a- Ooh, look at that, it's a towel. There's a lot of stuff here. Replicate bolt, swap that on for one of the spark bolts. Could see this guy right now. He is drunk. Yeah, you could use a downwards LARP on the heel bolt. That is true. More of this gonna probably do a piercing heel bolt. If we can get to it, that is. Oh, who dis? Word fuck with the five month primage. Five months of dunk killing my streaks. Poggies, here's the many more. Have some Bezos bucks. Thanks for the support there, word fuck. There's a crit on oil there. That was a that enemy that you saw, you only gotta see him for a second. But uh it was actually a, an enemy that only spawns in the meat realm now. And they do very big damage. Is that the is that the TNT thrower one? I think it's a TNT thrower one, which you know we are explosion immune, so it actually wasn't that deadly. 
But I know somebody out there, if we actually end up posting to YouTube, maybe like, what the hell? What enemy is that? It's a pretty rare one. Um, I think you can get them into in the new game pluses as well. No, I know that used to be where it was. Now it's just the meat realm, I believe, which I guess is a new game plus as well. Shouldn't have shot him. He throws a whiskey flask. What was I thinking? That was foolish. What? How did I not delete that? There it goes. What's the difference between a normal run and New Game Plus? New Game Plus is what you do, and you can. Any run can go to New Game Plus. All you gotta do is have five orbs, like I have now. And then, uh, whenever you go to win, you don't go to the normal spot that you win. You go back to the surface and lock in the win up there, and it takes you to New Game Plus. So, every, every run has the potential to New Game Plus. Got any Dota 2 beta invites? Oh man, that takes me back, dude. Azuma, that takes me way back. There we go, piercing. Easy. Uh, easy full heals with that setup. Does it have to be five orbs or can it be more than five? So it's kind of a weird system. It has to be between five and ten, right? It has to be between between five and ten for your first new game plus. Your second new game plus is going to be between six and ten. It's like a it's a, it like climbs up. In fact, if you look it up uh, on the uh, let's see, Noita. Let's see, uh, new game plus. Yeah, so, so, 12, no, no, it used to be 12, so, see it says new game plus, uh, orbs 5 to 10, 6 to 10, 7 to 10, 8 to 10, 9 to 10, uh, and then to go to new game plus 6, specifically 10. The reason that some people get a little bit confused, <clears throat> which by the way, I'll link this in the chat if you guys are interested. Um, oh wait, you are, and Spirits Maker already linked it, he's, he's quicker than me. Um, first off, at, uh, if you have exactly 11 orbs, that is a special ending called the the golden the gold ending. So that's why there's this weird numbering of like five to ten, six to ten, seven to ten. It stops it stops at ten, then it goes skips and goes to twelve. Because if you're at 11 orbs, boom, you get the gold ending. Um, each new game plus needs one more orb than the previous is the idea. So. Really what it would be is new game plus one needs five orbs, new game plus two needs six orbs, new game plus three needs seven orbs. That's the idea. They let it be a range in case you ever miscount by one that it will still take you to the next new game plus and you won't be screwed. But people mix this up because it used to be that 12 orbs was the gold ending and the whole system was uh, uh, 12. the 12th orb was the one that you would skip. But now it's 11. It's been that way for a couple years now. And I, I forget every once in a while, but yeah. 11 orbs is the one that is uh, you got to avoid. There's even a little chart right here to kind of show you the, the little new game plus ladder, I guess.
Oh, okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Um, that was whiskey. That's whiskey too. My god. He did this thing where he threw it and hopped to the left, so it's kinda like I I was watching him as he left. He's gonna die right now. Oh no, he's still alive. That's an acid flask. Oh no. Oh, he ended up dying. He threw two of them. I missed I met, messed it up twice. It's my own fault. Though I still think we probably need to come up with a regular uh, method for farming whiskey because we need to do at least three spark ships in this run. And I think I'm just going to let them be random spark ships. If the first two go bad, then we'll, we'll maybe look up Noitol to find an exciting one. But we'll see if we get lucky in our first two. I know this is a Noita streamer, but do any Realm of the Mad God gamers need a pet egg? Have some spares I need to get rid of? I can quit at any moment, I promise. Hey, I, hey, I appreciate you helping out anybody else who's grinding away. Probably we'll, we'll hop on. If anybody on the YouTube channel is curious, we did like a community day where we all hopped on this old MMO called Realm of the Mad God. Because it's, uh, it's like a free-to-play MMO that, you know, just about anybody's computer can run. And we were all just like running around in, as a club, just like... You know, smacking bosses around and stuff. It was pretty fun. And, well, mainly getting smacked around, I should say. Let's be honest. We, but the Realm of the Mad Guy community was full of some really, really awesome people. It was it was an enjoyable experience. I probably will be stopping by that uh, that game again in the near future. Some people in the, probably farm it up. Like, Conga's going to be... I'm sure next time we go to play, we'll probably be thick. He'll be carrying us next time we hop on. I haven't seen such an underhanded uh, retention method since stre uh, streamers dangled Dota 2 keys. Oh shit, dude. Azuma's for real. That was... Oh my god, I remember that shit. Streamers used to dangle those fucking Dota 2 keys. And it was the most annoying crap. Basically, the way they did the early access for uh, Dota 2 was these limited keys. And these keys would actually spawn more keys. Once you install Dota, like, uh, I don't know, like every week or so, you'd get, like, an email with another key that you could give to a friend and stuff. And there was, like, uh, these few streamers, these Dota streamers that would have it. These weren't, like, regular Dota players. They are just people who lucked into a key. And they would be like, I'm going to give away a key today, blah, blah, blah. And then... Um, you know, so there's all these people hanging out in the chat, like myself included, just wanted to get your hands on a key. And then throughout the stream, people would be asking, are we, are we gonna do the Dota key soon? Are you gonna give it away? And then you get to the point where they'd eventually be like, you know what, nobody's gonna do a Dota key today. And you'd be like, what the fuck? People have been sitting there for like six hours at this point. They're like, I'll give it away tomorrow because you guys have been annoying today. It's like, what the? That shit used to drive me crazy. There were so many people that did it. Hell, some even the big names that exist to this day were part of the guilty group that used to dangle the Dota, the Dota keys in people's faces. Like, you want one? Well, too bad. What's the spark shift purpose? Uh, it's a cosmetic change. You'll see. It, it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't give you any advantages. It just looks cool. Heal up. He's saying he's not going to open the shop. I, 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 shop. I already told you at the end of the run. <laughs> You're just trolling now. Names, names. Well, I I think it was the I, I want to say it was that Suns fans group group and stuff. They used to to they actually got their hands on like early keys, and then the way they did their like key giveaways was that like first it was like a giveaway where you could like you know just I think if you just followed the channel, um, there was a chance you could win a key, and then later they like made it where like if you subscribed, 
you got like double or triple the odds of getting the key and stuff. There was just things like that. And I remember it was just some sketchy stuff where they were pretty much selling keys at that point. And it was like, dang, so you got lucked into a key and now you're selling keys? <laughs> this is bullshit, man. Speaking of, uh, anyone heard about the Battle Bitch streamer that did a uh, did a similar thing, but with their uh, channel points? Wait, how did it? What what happened with their channel points? Like people would spend channel points and then they could get their hands on like a key or whatever. Oh my God, this big Steve scared me for a moment. Don't mess around with Big Steve. He's about to get some legal trouble coming his way. Oh boy. Alright, we're just traveling to a parallel world. Let's go. This is ridiculous. Parallel world time. Ooh. Unless we happen to come across... Oh! Another flash throw. Who immediately threw whiskey. Actually, this game is trolling right now. That was kind of scary. Lava and acid. There was a streamer who, now that I have your attention, Azuma will die. Open the shop. What? The circle of uh, alcohol only spawn in the Walmart. So you mean C? Isn't it C of? Uh... There's touch of spirits. That could that could work. There is a um, sea of alcohol. I don't believe there's... Hmm. Yeah, there's no circle. Mist of Spirits doesn't actually let you. It's what it's the only mist force that you can't like hold a flask and fly into it and collect the liquid. It's weird. All the other ones you can do that, even though it doesn't. It doesn't actually collect the original liquid. It collect co collects like a mist form of it. For example, if you fly into a blood mist, it's like you collected mist blood. It's its own thing. But anyways, it doesn't matter because that one doesn't even collect any liquid at all. Streamers were given 250 codes for creator skins, uh, to, wait, for creator skins, uh, for weapons in game. They let users buy skins for channel points, way past, uh, they were sold out. Wadu ran his stream in a 24-7 manner and didn't care to tell viewers that, uh, 
didn't tell viewers that because they were long gone in a somewhat successful attempt to get a ton of temporary subs. Yo! So... You could buy skins with channel points. These skins were given to them by the the people over the game. So I, I'm, that that part's the part I'm a little confused about. Was when they when they gave them the skins, they gave s skins to streamers. What was the their purpose for? Was it supposed to be just for them to use, or was it like, hey, give this to your community, and then somebody's like, I'll just give it away using channel points. If that was the case, that wouldn't be that bad. But if it was like this is for you, and then you chose to like turn around and try to like. I guess benefit off of it, that'd be pretty rough. Thank you, Cactus. Later, Azuma. Get some just tell somebody in the chat to buy an extra and that you'll trade with them tomorrow. Easy. Simple. It's simple. And where is the whiskey at? It's like eBay is selling pre-order things. Every time uh, Analog does a console, eBay is flooded with sales of pre-orders. That is pretty fucked up, actually. Yeah, that's, that's pretty rough. Whiskey's on my desk at home. <laughs> we'll pass it over here. I need it. We're trying to do a spark shift, and the whole run is being held up by one whiskey flask. <laughs> Entire run depended on this one thing. They are meant to be given away to the community. I don't mind the channel point in themselves, but telling people the stock is out. To, wait, but not telling people the stock is out to let people sub for extra point gains is shady. Yeah, okay, yeah, that that. That's for sure. I mean, that part's without question. Not letting the people know the truth is fucked up. But as a way to give away stuff to the community, that part, I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah. For example, if, uh, if I had the opportunity to give away games to the community, it's kind of tricky because you kind of, like, if, if I had, like, a ton of keys for a game... You'd be like, I want to make sure my community members get them. Because the moment you say, hey, free game, you're going to have people that are never part of your community, never never stop by ever. They just stop by just to get the free thing, and then they're out of there. And you're like, damn it, I want my community members who hang out here all the time to get it. So channel points would be a good method to ensure that only the people that, that are your regulars, get, if they choose to, could get their hands on it. With that said, if you just don't tell them that it's out, that clearly was not your, the reason that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it came. You have the opportunity to sell cosmetics to the community. Wait, what? How about the Sweatling cosmetics? <laughs> Did somebody say the word free? I feel like some... I mean, it... People literally do just type in, I think, free in the, the search on Twitch, just looking for, like, giveaways and stuff. And then just get the fuck out of there once the giveaway's done. <laughs> That's cringe. I, I do it. It's a thing. I kind of like this right here. Does anybody know if whiskey is a common spawn in the alchemist lab? I don't feel like it is.
Pontus is not gonna lie, my IRC highlights the word giveaway in all Twitch channels I lurk in. <laughs> this fucking guy. But if it's your channel you already lurk in, that's a little bit different. Now, do you hunt out channels with giveaways? That's the real question. But I, I mean, I guess streamers would be happy that you do that, because a lot of streamers do giveaways for the purpose of helping grow their stream. But I don't, I always feel like that's such a weird way to grow, but I mean, what, what do I know, right? Like, I, I have no idea. Maybe it is like a really good method for growing a channel. I've never done any of those kind of giveaways. Um, I got messages. There's like these, uh, there's these people that build PCs and stuff. And um, I got messaged because they were like, we're wanting to give away a PC to your community, blah, blah, blah. They, they do it all the time. I see them on, I see them on Twitch all the time, giving away PCs. And the whole concept is like, you tell the, your community to follow your you. You have to follow the streamer and those people. And then at the end of like the day, a random person who is both a follower of both of these things gets a like a thousand dollar computer or something. But I'm like, I mean, I don't know what the hell kind of shit there. I don't want to like tell my community to follow something that could be a, a, a you know, I don't I don't know what the what the future of that group looks like. You know, I'm all for getting getting your community to get some free shit, but... But I guess a lot of streamers take it because they, they get people to stop by your channel because they see giveaway. Good morning, Duncan Chat, and happy Canadian Thanksgiving. It's Canadian Thanksgiving today? Is that true? Hold on, let me see. Canadian Thanksgiving. The results say Canada's not real. Okay, well, uh, write that down, kids. It's not Canadian Thanksgiving. It says it says it's October 9th. Is Canadian Thanksgiving? What? Wait, some people are saying it is. Why does it say the 9th whenever I type that in? But October 9th. Chase, do a giveaway and, and send somebody your old CRT monitor. Better than that, I have a Polaroid TV. I'll hook them up with that. <laughs> Usually whenever you say you have a Polaroid TV, people are like, wait, what? Polaroid? Yes. They made TVs at some point. Apparently they didn't do well. So I guess it's like a limited, limited edition TV. <laughs> it's a collector's item. Yeah, yeah, it comes with a very special low frame rate. Exactly, Bob. The wiki does not list the potions that spawn in the ancient laboratory, unfortunately. Really? If I waste my money while you open the shop? No, 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 hold on. We just need to get whiskey. That's all. That's all we're looking for, guys. Remain calm. Remain calm. One day we will find whiskey. has essence of spirits that is true that is true we could do it we did that before didn't we all right i think we may do just that that was kind of scary Ooh. i don't need anything else here You already passed chaotic transmutation in the uh, an o uh, overgrown caverns. Oh fuck! I wasn't even thinking chaotic transmutation could work. It would take a couple shots, but that's at least a method. Damn it! Why wasn't I thinking of that? The man that destroyed everything to get <laughs> to get whiskey. I wouldn't be the first.
High room? Oh, that's true. True, we'll check the high room. You never know. Putting a, fl a flask on the floor and casting a mist over it. That doesn't work either. That the, the mist of spirits doesn't give off any mist liquid apparently. It's weird. Going for the eye room. No, 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 no. Disappointment. Could be a Heesey bar, that is true. Heesey bars have lots of whiskey. DNK blind old man red force. Stash him and I have been trying for 86 years. Wait, what? Is that chaos? Read force? Haven't I responded to force several times? About putting a mist over cast over. What about putting a mist? I've I've responded to this on multiple occasions. He the very first time he posted this, if you go back in the VOD and watch, the very first time I responded and I explained that the mist of spirits does not give off any liquid. There is no there's no whiskey on the mist of spirits. You can try. I mean, I've never, I've never come up with a method. Oh, I really wish you then I responded again. Right he is drunk. He, whenever around around here, I responded again. The same thing. How the hell are are you <laughs> are you missing this? <laughs> Chase, you should try the missing spirits. Am I going insane? Are you sure you responded? Yes. Because I, I actually said to him, because I remember saying specifically that it is the only mist that does not give off a liquid. And that they're, uh, that the blood mist doesn't even give off blood anyways. It gives off mist blood or something like that. So even if it did give it off, it probably wouldn't be the right kind. Like I said, it's on principle, sir. We are playing... Oh, you're playing Rocket League? You're playing Rocket League, so you would post a message and then start a game and then not pay attention to my response, and then you'd get done with your match, and then you'd post it. You, you pain in the ass. Good, I'm, gl I'm glad the YouTube community sees this. So they're like, you know what? Now I understand why the weebs and the DGen community over there gets, gets, you know, timed out and thrown into the shadow realm. You're all grounded for a month. No noita. Hmm. There's a chainsaw. I do like chainsaws. By the way, did you try the Mr. Spirits? Okay, I'm going crazy. That is a Rickroll, Paro. You think I'm new to the internet? You think I can be baited? Think again. Uh, grab that. The reason I'm going all the way down here is because it, I think it's going to be the route that we take to get the essence. You'll see. Um, I wonder if this will work. My sprinkler goes like this. S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D S D How does this look? Not good. According to ancient rumors, a shop once existed. 
through. The Alchemist Lab has glass orbs that can spawn full of whiskey go there and have a drink. Yeah, I think that's what I'm about to do. And hopefully that can help us out too. Uh, actually, no, I was going to do the... We got a couple plans. We got a couple moves. Don't worry. One of them is bound to help us out. One of them is bound to save the day. Jump into the portal. So now we're back in the main world. And we are going to... Go this way. Peace of the gods? I don't know. I just kind of grabbed whatever. Wasn't really any logic to it. I just realized we could just do this. Miss the dragon area. <laughs> Bottom left will take us near the forgotten. Let me empty this crap out. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. Duncan, thanks for the sub. Sweat. Appreciate the love and support. It's a brand new sub. Thank you, thank you, Duncan. We're about to finally get to the payoff portion of the run. I know it's been a slow run, but I think we're almost there. I think. So the reason we're, we're going all the way down here, this took us to pretty much the bottom left of the map. Those portals again are the Leviathan portals. So you don't have to use them, but it, does, it just speeds up the walk. And I'm heading over to the bottom of the lake. Did I go too far? Oh, I almost did. At the very bottom of the lake, there is a essence called the essence of spirits. And what this will do is every time I shoot a wand, you'll see that it spawns a fuck ton of whiskey. So what I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make a uh, like a storage area just filled with whiskey so that we can just constantly refill it as much as we like. The issue is that if we get a single flame in our whiskey storage area, the whole place is going to burn the fuck down. So I got to be careful with this. You'll notice me firing off quite a bit, just spawning whiskey around the map. So that if, if fires and stuff happen, that hopefully not everywhere burns all the whiskey that we have. trouble and now I'm just creating piles of it. Dunk is an alcoholic in game. <laughs> all right so now we can remove the essence of spirits off of our character 
And we get the poop stone, which we don't care for. And then we are going to scoop up the whiskey. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched. Yes, the whiskey sweat. is crucial to the, uh, the shifting that we're about to be doing right now. Oh, see, we already lost some of it. I don't know how. I don't know how that caught fire, but it did. So we're going to let go of this ambrosia. Seeing heal, I guess, for a bit. Oh. Bring out the empty flask, jump into lava for a bit. good on the lava I think but I'll grab a little bit more all right I'm probably gonna mess this up a couple times so don't be shocked when I when I mess it up at first uh, what we do is we take the whiskey we empty out uh, a little bit of the whiskey there we go and then we gotta throw some lava into the air. We're gonna throw some lava into the air. Catch it in our in our whiskey flash. Shake it around, shake it around, and then whenever I see the spark take over as the majority. Wait, what? It didn't take over as the majority. That was odd. Hold on. Am I doing it backwards? I don't think so. Shake it around, shake it around, shake it around. I wasn't fast enough. It turned into whiskey fumes. It's gonna take a bit of practice. Why throw it in the air instead of just taking a dip? I don't wanna risk having to pay attention to my health and stuff. If I toss it in the air, it's gonna barely chip away any of my damage. Anytime I take a dip, it does it does hurt you a bit. And uh, if, as long as I have stainless armor on, it doesn't hurt me that much. But if I ever have like a whiskey stain on me and I step in there, it's gonna do twice as much damage. And I may do a bad job at tracking that. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get over here. Oh, come on, all that whiskey's burned. Fine. Oh, I really wish whiskey. you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Alright, let's try this again. So, I throw the lava in the air. Cat Wait, what the fuck? I think I, did I catch any of that? No. Throw the lava in the air. Catch it. Shake it around. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, I think I did it that time. Yo! I did it. This time I just kind of blindly drunk, drunk the, or drank from the flask without even checking to see if there was spark. And we got 9% spark. Can you guys tell me what color that is? Is it blue or is it purple? Is there a blue? It's kind of hard to see. It's purple? Okay. Ooh, we may have gotten lucky. This could be the... This could be the portals. Okay. So the idea is... Now that, that materials can mix inside of a flask... You start to see these interactions before that... Yes, they did happen in the world, but there was no way for you to take advantage of it. Well, this is an example of an interaction happening in a flask that results in a spark, which now we captured, and uh, we can now shift it into other materials. 
if you're curious why you have to drink from the flask is because the spark burns out in the flask because the other materials interact with the spark. So you're trying to quickly drink all of the other materials out of the flask, leaving only the spark. And since there's nothing else in the flask to kill the spark off, it just sits on its own. The spark that you're given though is random, at least as far as I know. Who knows? I mean, there's somebody on the Noita Discord did a breakdown on how this worked. How they figured it out, I have no idea. They must have been a crazy Noita scientist. I, I, I wish I had their username because they deserve a shout out because it's some pretty wild stuff. Um, but I can real quickly, I'll pull up the, where is this? Here's the list of the different sparks that you can get. And uh, we'll, we'll try to get another spark in a moment. But chat was saying that we have the purple one. I don't know which purple one. But they're saying that we have one of these. <laughs> can you squirt it out of the flask? Uh, yes, but I don't believe the... I don't remember if the visual, if it, I think it may dissipate instantly. I can't remember if you can see it like at all, but yes, you can spray it out. Uh, but it's not like a liquid that stays on the ground. Anyways, we have, we, so we have our first spark of the run, which is exactly what we were looking for. Now we just create a pile of fungus, which is very easy. We drop our fungus from high up. Okay, maybe it's a little bit harder than I thought because things are getting in the way. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, game? Alright, drop the fungus from high up. Spawns lots of fungus. I forgot that I have repulsion. That's going to make that very annoying. Oh well. Uh, all right, so we have to eat over 180 seconds worth. And these first couple uh, shifts that I do, I'm gonna do just random shifts and see where it takes us. So we gotta bring out our flask, and while our character's throwing up, we try to levitate so that we don't accidentally throw up into our flask and do a vomit shift. Ooh, spark, it said spark. And ooh, purple. So that purple spark that we had in the flask now says blood transformed. So anything that originally had that purple coloring now should have the color of blood. So let's go see if uh, if it was the purple of the portals. I don't know. We'll have to see. This may take a little bit to figure out which purple that was. Ah, oh, it's not the portal of uh, purple. So let me see if that. Let me see if it tells. Which things get that version of uh, that would that would have been awesome though if it was the portal one, because there is there is one for the portals which I guess I can since I showed it earlier I'll show it again now. Um, this is only my second run to ever do with um, you know doing these spark shifts and stuff, but here is uh, an example. Actually, I guess there's a couple things I could show here. Yeah, let me just play it. So here, here is an example of that. Uh, I did one of the times get lucky with the spark and it was the holy mountain purple. And so when I did a shift, it did purple spark to silver, which is like the silver material, not the silver. Like there's a material in Noita called silver and it, you know, gives off this white, you know, kind of silver color. So they made the holy mountain portals look badass. which then whenever we went to um, the Hisi base, in the Hisi base, the, even the portal to the eye room, you know, looked really cool. And then the eye room itself also, because the eye room itself is new, is normally purple, is instead, now it looks like that. So we'll, I'll see if I can find out. Oh, it doesn't tell you anything. Earlier we were looking at it too, and it didn't tell us enough details. Hmm. Aw, oh, Conga, rip, dude. Rip. Uh, so we gotta set a five minute timer. We've got our first shift done. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna set up for a second uh, spark. Don't worry, we'll take it we'll, it we'll take a moment here in a bit to find out uh, to see if we can find what exactly changed, what which colors changed. I'm trying to shoot stuff that is naturally purple. Hmm.
more research needs to be done on those to put them in the wiki i think oh yeah for sure plus i think i think the guys who oh, update really the wiki you guys can see this guy right now he is they they sweat. tend to put stuff in there if they, i think they feel confident that's going to stick around who knows what will happen with this the devs may see this and not like that the players can manipulate the colors of stuff and they could patch it out and so then people on the who update the wiki would have to undo all of the updates so uh they may be waiting to see if it gets pushed to the main game uh did i shout out count of mash for the nine monther i apologize there count i didn't mean to be running behind on the resubs thank you thank you count i appreciate the the nine months of support we are having a sweat baby lukey blaze with the 21 month there says 21 months of waiting for dunkbot 2.0 <laughs> this is a little bit longer there lukey blaze what about the purple background color of the eye room the purple background color I, mean, I guess we could look. We know it's not the the swirling stuff, but uh, we'll look in a moment. Magic missile, maybe. Does uh do, does that use uh, spark materials? It, anything that has purple, I think, is is a potentially could have the the color change. Um, where did I leave that one magic missile before? I remember the one you're talking about. I was actually using it earlier in this run. Anyways, I'll worry about it in a minute. Let me get set up with the the next uh. The next spark. There's going to be a double shop at the end of stream. So basically a double shop will probably be happening in the next 30 minutes or so. For those who are curious. Right, this up. I think the next event stream should be either solving the eye mystery or the cauldron. Alright chat. I appreciate the confidence you have in me in solving a puzzle that people have spent thousands of hours as, as a community like at this point like hundreds of thousands of hours trying to solve and me and i alone could just be like you know what let me solve this real quick i appreciate the confidence but that's too much confidence there's no hope yeah we could add that mesmer i could add that Let's see if we can do this again. Uh, lava in the air, catch it in the flask, drink, drink, drink. Oh, I wasn't, it was I, I fucked it up. Let's see if this is still okay. I swear, it, oh, it's whiskey fumes. Oh well, I saw the color change for a moment. Then the moment was gone. That color looks like the poison purple. Ooh, that's a great idea, Woke. Well, thank you for pointing that out. I'll, I'll see if poison maybe looks different. Though poison itself is a material, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it a try. I'm just going to pour out some of the whiskey. Oh, do you see how fast that went? Like... I would, oh, you, you can't even do the replay. It was like one frame. We had like one frame to drink that shit. I guess I could just keep drinking it. It doesn't really matter to pour it out. Are those note spells? Yes, these are spells. And actually some of the best, these are some of the best spells in the game because they are insanely efficient. They cost one mana and you can attach damage to them and they naturally pierce into enemies. These things right here are a crazy popular. If you watch many experienced Noita players, you'll see them use the heck out of those. So much so that my chat usually gets annoyed with me. Just like they always get annoyed with me when I use chain chainsaws and spark bolts. They're like, again? Okay, I can't help it. They're just so good. Can you do note spells while Gregnant? Excuse me? Do what now? Oh shit, I had a cool No, I had I had a green spark for a moment. I was too slow. Did you see it? It was like teal or something. Yeah, spirit's right. You just gotta go for it. Just 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 hope that it makes a shift. Don't try to wait to see the color, because by then it's too late. 
So lava in the air. Catch I it. fear the moist mob. Okay, that was actually too slow. Hold up. Hey, what's up, Go Segan? Thanks for raid, man. Hope you had a good stream. We're currently just doing some Noita shenanigans. And I'm messing it up. You know, no big deal. What is happening there? I'm not catching any lava. Maybe I need to create a small pool. At least kind of kind of do what Mind's Eye said where we dip ourselves in it. But as long as we're not doing it like in the entire lava lake. Hopefully that won't get me killed. I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. <laughs> Get that nest out of here. This is my area. All right, there we go. Uh, whiskey fumes. How the hell did I manage that? Oh, screw it. Let's see if we can still do this. It, I think it like gets too much in there almost. I still only drank all of it. Hope you had a fantastic stream, Go Segan. Dippy with the Prime 12 month there says, Are are we official now? DNK love. <laughs> yes, at the one year marker, we become official. That works. That's the streamer viewer relationship. Thank you there, Dippy. I appreciate the one year. Ill with a 39 month Prime. It says, Every time I get a stupid ad, I, it's a reminder to re up. Hey, there's nothing I can do about that. Twitch makes their own rules. Uh, all right, let's try this out. So, I don't know. Maybe dipping in it is too fast. Tossing method may be best. Is Dunk trying to shift whiskey fumes? No, sparks. Uh, doing doing the method that we're doing right now. Uh, where we throw lava in the air and catch it in a flask, it creates a spark in a flask. Damn it, I saw it again. It was a... Getting, I'm getting too old, man. Too slow. That was blue. Each sip is 8%, so you could fill your flask with 8% whiskey, then add lava and sip only once. I'll give that a try. Just, I guess, get rid of it. Our contents in our flask real quick here that was definitely red I drank the lava on accident I panicked uh, okay wait so you said get it to eight percent six percent should be good so what you're thinking like just drink it all oh was that fumes I thought it said whiskey all right so hold on uh, 5% whiskey. I think it did actually do the interaction. I thought it changed colors, but when you drink it once, it just takes it all. So you want exactly, so you're saying exactly 8%. Exactly 8%. Shouldn't it, yeah, it shouldn't be 10%? Well, why 8%? Yeah, that just instantly slurped it in one gulp. There you go, 10%. That also did it in one gulp. 
I think the, I mean, our other method, I think, is, is not bad. We got, we got it, like, earlier, like, almost first try. So now we're kind of struggling. Hey, see? Just took a couple attempts. So this one is, look kind of greenish. All right, this is shift number two. This is another spark shift. I don't know what I did to my wand. Oh, that's what I did. spark all right so we created more of the spark i don't know what it was but we definitely made more of it because it even said spark on the screen so wherever it, something else shifted into green that green spark so in five minutes we get to do another shift uh Ando next says, where is Spark actually used in game particle effects from a spell or something? Kind of. It's just like it assigns colors to stuff. It could be a particle effect. Um, really, I mean, I think most of them are particle effects. Let me think about it. Because the, the Holy Mountain Portal was the one that we saw last time. Um, fire, I guess in the fire, that is a particle effect around the fire, right? So I, I don't know if there's anything that's just a standstill like... Uh, an image that will, will change colors. Oh yeah, luminous drills did change colors. Luminous, so that that one isn't a, maybe. I mean, I guess maybe it's still considered a particle effect. But yeah, lumi drills actually change colors. Oh, which is what must be the green that we have here. Must be the luminous drill green, or is it the laser green? Oh yeah, there's a green portal by the lake. We do have a bouncy burst. Well, the, we haven't changed the color yet. It hasn't shifted into another color, so we don't have uh, whatever is, you know, we have to wait till the green shifts away before we can see if it's changed stuff. So, so even if something was green, it will still be green. We have to wait till the spark turns to some other material. That's when you know that it's sh stuff that, that used that green will look different. Easier to fly up into the ceiling and do it. So whatever turned into the green spark is effectively gone now. Yeah, like uh, yeah, it'll. I mean, you may notice some kind of visual from it, but yeah, it'll dissipate in like instantaneously. So what's the plan if we accidentally shift whiskey slash lava? I actually did not think of that, but. Luckily, we will already be doing our third shift, so I guess it isn't a big deal. But yeah, I guess if you accidentally shift one of those, that's that. Like, we should have collected, we should, you should collect all your sparks ahead of time, I think is the only counter. Isn't the bet technically complete other than the, the win? I did say I had to do three shifts, so this next one is our third shift. Why does lava plus whiskey create a spark? Now that part I don't know. I was simply told how to do this. I wasn't like, I wasn't a discoverer. I don't understand the science behind it. Like, all I know is 
there are tons of interactions in Noita. Like if you if you notice, whenever you look at the environment, there's a lot of stuff going on. And so it's not too surprising to think that now that reactions can happen inside of flasks, we're seeing things that before we didn't even realize were occurring. So this is just an example of, I guess, when whiskey and lava were coming in contact before, there would be like some kind of spark created that now you can capture it inside of a flask and then shift that material away. An example of how this could be beneficial in a normal run, like you're, let's say you're not wanting to do sparks, but you want to take advantage of something that can shift inside of a flask, is if you take molten gold, which is liquid gold, and you put water in there, it solidifies the molten gold in the flask and turns it into regular powder gold inside of a flask. Then you can do a fungal shift, and if you shift something like blood to gold, well then in spots like this, instead of there being blood, it would just be powder gold. I do have a, a run on my YouTube if you're interested in that. Um, are you a, I'm a dirty little foot goblin and I need a bath? Becoming a streamer was a mistake. The hell was that? What if I'm not interested in it? Not interested in what? I'm confused. If uh, fungus makes you high, maybe all shifts are uh, just your narco trip. May uh, yeah, maybe you're just tripping balls. But then again, it also you become immune to those things. So like for example, if lava became water, you can swim in it. So. Does that mean you're just on some kind of high in reality? You're just melting your flesh off? I do not know. I'm 99% certain uh, these sparks are particles to make the, the conversion process look a bit more fancy if you don't do it in a flask. Well, there you go. There's bases logic. Sounds, sounds pretty solid to me. Ooh, chain bolt. That's a good one to try factory upgrade. I think we may have seen some chain bolts in this run. I guess we have some time to spare. I can go looking around for stuff. Let me know when it's been five minutes since the last shift. I can see O firm when tripping you are immune till pain till it wears off. This gives off kind of a purple effect, right? I don't think that's it. Uh, Duncan, what was that? You're immune till the pain wears off? Oh shit, it's like a superpower? The fireworks? Could be fireworks. I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. It's hard to say because fireworks kind of vary in the colors already. What's up, Twist? Yo! Snatch with the Prime 6 month there, Snatch. Thank you for the half a year of support. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Maybe the purple crystals in the Temple of the Art uh, have a uh, purple spark? That's possible. Let me, uh, we'll do a little bit of exploring for a moment. Let me get everything organized here. I think there was a luminous timer down here too. I want to grab, yeah, this one right here. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, somebody was saying earlier the eye room. Maybe it uh, visually could look a little bit different, which I don't think it will. But because that one's the seems to be the same as the portal, purple. I know it looks uh, looks as it usually does.
the bubbles for the green spark. Bubbles? Do bubbles have green in them? some laps over here oh do you mean this right here large spitter bolt yeah, actually you could be right on that one we have we have it right here so we'll test it in a moment whenever we do the shift five minutes thank you factory upgrade all right eat the fungus we have to go over 180 seconds closer to 200 is always good cram my head in the wall so I don't accidentally throw up in my flask hopefully this one we get lucky this is our third shift worm blood damn it Still just a spark. So we'll see if we can do another shift in a moment. Hmm. Looking at stuff that could potentially be affected. Those purple crystals uh, is a good guess. Ow. Oh wait. What about a glittering field? There's also a possibility. There it is. It's a glittering field is part of it for sure. What the fuck? <laughs> Looks kind of crazy. There's blood in the air! The air is bleeding! If anybody's curious, this is supposed to be purple. We've done one of our spark shifts was, uh... One of our spark sh shifts turned a uh, purple to blood. And as you can see, it actually even leaves the blood stain. You see all the blood stains all over the place? Hmm. Yeah, does this do anything? Me when I have too much fiber? <laughs> Sorry, the screen's probably getting pixelated to hell. It's just this one was a kind of a crazy visual. Hmm. Chain oh, there's a chain bolt? Thank you, drunken. I was so distracted, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, we can get rid of that. Did this one see a change? Oh shit! You're right! It's another one, the chain bolt. It's now red. It's a little red beam. We'll kill some stuff with it. In fact, what we can do is go add mana a chainsaw. 
Do, do, do. Uh, then put light at the end to wrap it. Okay, we don't have lights, so just triple, I guess. Hmm. I'm glad we found a couple spells that were using that purple, because I was like, damn it. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to figure out what was using it. Yeah, the little explosion still's got its like usual colors, but the the actual beam, the actual chain bolt itself is is red. Cast detonator. Looks like it's its usual self. I don't see any crazy visuals. A bad idea though. Oh, let's see about this. Nope, that was still very purple. Can crit on blood work, Dunk? Uh, crit on blood will still work, but not with not like the, with the spark or something. You can't just use the spark for the crit on blood. Like even if blood turns into water, you can still use crit on blood with blood material, even though that blood material is water. It still works. It just sees the the spell blood material and just works regardless of what the original material is. Hmm. Any luck yet? I mean, yeah, right now we have our chain bolts looking red, which is kind of cool, but not like the most insane shift. I still think this one looked uh, so far the, the best of the group. It's just glittering filled, which is normally very purple. It's now very red. I'm probably pixelating the hell out of the stream, so if anybody's watching on YouTube and it feels like you went back to like 2008, that's uh, that's not your computer. That's literally uh, anytime you have a ton of pixels on the screen, it causes the stream to blur quite a bit. <laughs> Feels bit rate, right, man. It's already been another five minutes, really. I went quickly. Thought you said YouTube. I did say YouTube, Chostings, actually. Uh, I, was, I was talking about you earlier today, actually. I, I said Chostings reminds me every day I need to be making a video for the YouTube peeps. So this one right here, hopefully will get posted on YouTube. I don't think it's the most entertaining run, but at the very least it may serve as a reminder so that the YouTube guys don't think that uh, I forgot uh, forgot about them. Gunpowder? Okay, the luminous drill is now the color of gunpowder. Do we have anything to extend the duration? Yes, this will work. Okay, hold up now. Uh, that is a weird looking luminous drill. Hold up. This will be the one to do it on. What the fuck? Interesting, interesting. It does look like it's spitting out rust. You, I don't like this at all. You don't like it? Uh, if anybody's curious, that's because we had the uh, the spark material that was that assigns the color to the luminous drill. We shifted it, and we shifted it into gunpowder. So the luminous drill takes the color of gunpowder. So our, this is our luminous drill right here. Normally, is that like kind of neon green? Instead, it's whatever the hell color gunpowder is. <laughs> Me after having too much fiber. Is that the? <laughs> As you guys to every fungal shift now. This is what happens when I have too much fiber. 
And yes, it does still dig. It's because we have the phasing arc on it. It still, uh, it still digs regularly. The phasing arc makes it a little trickier to, to dig away at material, but it still digs. Oh shit, did you see that? The crystal, you normally has that green explosion. Now it's the color of gunpowder. Even the explosion. Huh. Let me see if this is different at all. Uh... No, this is the usual. The health shots? What do you mean? Oh, the heal bolts. That's a good question. No, they look like the usual. Spitter bolts. I think I see at the end of it. Look at the end whenever it hits the wall. It's coloring at the end is, is gunpowder, didn't it? The trail, you know? The trail is brown. Yeah, so, so the trail is different. <laughs> but the actual projectile itself has its usual green. Very minor change. Let's go capture another spark real quick. Uh, oops. Some acid down there. I'm able to get everything as it was. I can remember how it was. Yeah, phasing was originally on this, wasn't it? Imagine a run where you shift every spark to the same color. That would be very hard to set up, but I'm, some seeds, I'm sure it's possible. I don't know, we're missing like one of the materials, so let's do this. that that we were using before all right back to the surface oh the spark bolt on the ground was my missing spell okay that makes sense yeah, I yeeted it when I was trying to create inventory space well, let me look at this tentacle real quick just curious You know what else I think has changed? I think um, that green that's in the laser thing. What's that thing called again? I don't want the crappy perk. Um, this one right here, personal plasma beam. I think that one is a different color now too. I think that shares the same green. Yeah, the, the good old face laser. One more of the sparks. And then we can do our final shop of the day. About a sneeze. Alright, I'm good. I'm alive. <laughs> Wait, the last perk too? Oh yeah, the summon Saint Kiwi. That one actually made, dude. 
A giant beam of gunpowder looking color? It's a beam of shit. Thank you, Quantum. That burned. Did you change the worm blood into the green spark earlier, right? So worm blood should be gunpowder now, or am I wrong? Um, let me think. Yeah, sometimes it's... So I'm trying to think if it'd be a broken chain. I think it would be... I think it would be. Something else changed to warm blood? I think it was the green spark. Wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was the spark. Because it says... Oh, no, you're right. Earlier it said worm blood and we still had the spark. That doesn't necessarily mean that the worm blood turned into spark. It is possible, but we never looked into it. We'd have to shoot the worm, because it said worm blood on the screen, but that could just be that the it, it didn't it didn't affect the spark at all. You know what I mean? It could have been it could have been worm blood to, you know, polymorphine or something and spark didn't because just because you're holding a flask it doesn't guarantee that it will be affected. It just uh, makes it where there's a, a a highly likely chance that it will be affected. Wait, did it just... Another green? How many greens are there? Hold up. There's... Is it... Is it like... Hmm... Mm -hmm -hmm. Infinite greens. It's the same. It shouldn't be the same because we don't have that one green anymore. That one green is gone. So if we ever get it, it'll say gunpowder transformed. It can't, it can never give us that old green anymore. Maybe the wiki is not complete. That's true. There is a chance that this, there's something missing here. That's always possible. So, I'm actually going to pour this one out. While I'm slightly interested, I want to see what other color we can get. Because I'm like green. We I feel like we went through a ton of green spells already. So, it could be though that that green may be like the... the maybe that's the personal plasma beam and the summon say kiwi. But I don't have those spells. So, it's kind of like I don't want to waste a shift. Oh, it was purple for like half a second. Oh yeah, it could have been the heel bolt color, that's true. Squeaky chair. You guys love the squeaky chair. That's fumes already in it. Oh wait, there was actually oh shit, there was spark in it. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stopped. There was still spark. Quote is definitely shadow banned. What's he going on about? Read sweat deposits. Which one? Find chaotic transmute and cast Lumi after you spawn. A lot of glittering. Find chaotic transmute and cast Lumi after you spawn a lot of glittering. And cast Lumi after you spawn a lot of glittering? Curious what effect he's going for there. Is this related to Spark or are you just saying something in general to do? Whoa. I don't even know if I want to take the trouble to, to go through all that stuff though. What? I could have swore I had the... I could have swore it was red.
Is there science behind creating the spark? I was simply told how it's done. I don't know. There may be a deep write-up on the main Noita Discord. Oh, I really wish you guys could the... see this guy right now. He is drunk. By whatever crazy uh, Noita scientist came up with the strategy, but I do not know. Ah, oh, shit, my voice is disappearing. Oh, it was for half a second, man. It's impossible to catch sometimes. Yeah, if I didn't have iron stomach, this would be much more frustrating. We would be we would be dead. Yeah, I don't know why, every, every once in a while I go to pour it and it just like hits my character immediately. Just... Oh. Okay, that was weird. Maybe I shouldn't jump to make the reaction happen slower? Yeah, let me try that one. Let's, let's, let's like, sit still. So it doesn't react as quickly. I see some spark. Spark is gone. like weird whenever you shake it it causes it to make a lot more of that stuff there's some spark spark is gone oh huh. kind of weird it like doesn't make much of the spark whenever whenever you sit still The 15% whiskey again, you want to try that? Sure. Uh, whiskey potion, 15% po uh, full, 16% whiskey. What? All right, well, don't question the math. Yeah, just know what to things. Oh, look, 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 it, it made some of the gunpowder transformed. That's showing you that, remember the spark that we made, we we did some science with before? It turned to gunpowder? Well, now it tried to make that old spark, but since it's gunpowder, it just turned into gunpowder in our, in our flask. Um, but that method may actually work. Let me try that again. Oh, that was... What am I doing? Started filling it up all the way. Now we're going for 15%. 14. Oops. 17. 16. 15. Oh, same thing again. 15% full, 16% whiskey. I don't know, I feel like the shaking it somehow plays in a, a factor, I don't know, it's weird. Oh no, I had the spark for a moment, I was too slow.
Like I saw it turn to fumes like instantly. Whiskey Mountain, Charlie. I thought I had it. I just want one more shift, man. Give me one more. And that was the portal purple, wasn't it? The green again? Did I? Why am I good at getting the green? The fuck? Hold on, I, w I want to try to get a different. We already we already have the green stuff. We don't have any of the other. We don't have any of the other perks. I think that will take advantage of that green. Oh, we lost it. It'll take, yeah, yeah, maybe I should have did the shift. Just because it's going to take so much time. You're right. You're right, you're right. Instantly all the fumes. I'm sure people will, like, science this up a bit at some point and, and find a even better method than this, like, in terms of how to quickly get it done. I think that was a green again. I'm not sure what dic what makes it decide sometimes to make it so easy to get, and other times it's just a huge pain. I guess I'll change colors for a moment. You know, it could be it could be that I'm leaving too much space in my flask. Is there an ultra low performance mod or anything like that to make the game run on like a basic laptop integrated graphics? So it's actually about your uh, CPU and not your graphics card. So um, the better the, your CPU, the better Noita will run. I think it's part of the reason that maybe uh, Noita was supposed to run decently well on the Steam Deck, I guess. Maybe there's the, you know, CPU is bit higher than what people would expect i don't know but uh there are some mods that can help you with performance but i don't know if there's any like write-up on like how to get noita to run on like a like a low performance uh, computer and stuff i wouldn't talk i i can't talk on it too much because i don't really know I'm, I'm not you know i'm not knowledgeable enough so i wish i could be of more use Wait a minute. Just one shift. Don't move after you get the lava in the flask. Didn't we try that one already? The not moving strat. Did I just? I just poured, poured some lava over the edge. Got scared. Watch. Spray this in the air. Which flask? See, when I barely move, all it does is it doesn't create as much fumes. It 
there was an electric spark in there for a bit. Sometimes it's so quick you have like a single frame to, to actually get it. Maybe I should have done the green spark. Electric spark was something I didn't think we'd see in there. Yeah, the electric spark, I imagine that could probably create some really cool visuals if you can like change the way the electricity's color works. Probably looks insane. Oh! Yo. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get some some crazy shit with this. Too bad we don't have any electric spells right now, but let's see. First try, yeah, first try, first try. Smoke. Okay, they, we actually got kind of lucky there. I think, I think if it changed the color of smoke, we'd probably be pretty disappointed because smoke's like kind of transparent, isn't it? So we got we gotta wait five minutes to do another shift. And while we're waiting, we're gonna go go gather some electric spells. The smoke may have became electric spark though, that is true. Um This will be steam. I'm trying to think how we could... Oh wait, this could create smoke. It's not even... You don't even get to see it. It's just dying off so fast. <laughs> oh. I think I saw a bit of blue. I think I did too, but it's happening so fast. Looking for some electricity. I know we've passed some electric spells. Oh, it sucks because we're not electric immune, so... Let's be kind of careful whenever... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, just find a new code. It's simple. New guys in the corner puking his guts out. I hope this one will end up looking cool. Very curious. I think there uh, were the triple thunder charge spells in Temple of Art somewhere. Triple Thunder Charge. Oh, the, ch the the ball lightning. That's true. Damn it. Yeah, let's see if I can grab that. We have a little bit of time to burn. Ball lightning could be one worth checking out. Good call. Good call. I remember as soon as you said that, I was like, wait, what? The oh, crap. There was a ball lightning. This will be the final spark that we try to mess around with. Because obviously you can keep doing spark shifts for a very long time. Well, at least until you run out of fungal shifts. Uh, oh, that's a tentacle one. I hope somebody's timing the five minutes uh, for the cooldown. to heart. 
Uh, what I missed there, Vex? Ignore the truth, I s uh, Okay, wait, the truth? You missed my message before out of embarrassment, but I would like to iterate. I like that we can gauge your level of failure by your 1,700 stomach level. <laughs> this is what you want me to read? That was because I was just really hungry and I went to a buffet. Has nothing to do with failure to do spark shifts. Uh huh. It's called wanting to get your money's worth, alright? What are you gonna go to a buffet? And take like a couple bites? No, you gotta. You gotta eat till your heart's gonna fucking give out. Your stomach's gonna explode. That's what I did there. 1,700% ch stomach. Choking and bloated. Looking for those ball lightning spells. Where could they be? We call those Texas portions? Exactly. Some freedom portions right there. Oh, oh. Eat the poly mage, get poly immunity. Uh, it's close to the top entrance, you think? Let me go back then. Alright, this is the entrance. I'm thinking like over here. I do want this electric charge. Hmm. It's a heart mage. We looked for that dude all game. He showed up right here at the end. It's been five minutes, Charles says. Chat can confirm. Has it been five minutes? Is it shifting time? Factory says it's been five minutes. Also, maybe don't dump flask after shifting. If we keep testing it, maybe try shifting it to a, another color. You could, yeah, you could. I guess the reason I try, I would, you know, dump it out is because I was thinking like, let's try another spark instead of just, you know, keep changing the same stuff over to different colors. Damn, I was hoping to find that ball lightning. Try to get to a spot here. Bleed that lava? Yeah, I think it's blood to lava. Well, that settles that. It is blood to lava. Grinding that one out. 
Rice cookers go whoa 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 Do they? Your rice cooker is broken. While we're burning time, let's go ahead and smack the boss around. My wand is a joke. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I should have killed him with glitter fill. That's true. Damn it. Damn it. Missed opportunities. The blood glitter fill. It was kind of laggy. Hmm. Why is it blood color? Because earlier we got a uh, our purple spark got shifted into blood. It kept the blood color even though blood got shifted into lava. It's also why you'll notice that there's blood splatters uh, like all over on the ground and stuff. Hmm. Lava would have been pretty neat looking because lava's kind of bright, isn't it? I don't know why. Yeah, why is it not orangey, man? I don't know exactly. That would be a Latali thing. It's because there's things called broken chains in Noita where like a like a when you do a shift of a shift. Sometimes you get a material that looks one way and acts like another. So it's probably something along those lines. Just weird Noita interactions. Factory says two more minutes. I hope this is the the shift. I really want to see what the electricity looked like. I made you a thing. I posted it on Chase Check This. Uh, when you're done recording for YouTube, you got a treasure hunter. It's definitely a broken chain. You shifted the original material, not the shifted, so transform blood acts like lava and looks like blood. Permanent shield is magical liquid, right? Not sparks. Uh, I don't think we've done anything involving something that would affect the shield color of, uh, talking about of the energy shield. And yeah, I would imagine that would be the magical liquid. Where are we with the spark shifts? We are just waiting to do one last shift, I think. And while we're waiting, we're just doing our one of our goofy blood splatter glittering filled thing. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. Does the does the cone of the freeze from the magical uh, come from the magical liquid? Oh, you're talking about on the on this right here? I don't think so. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know where it gets the visuals, honestly. That's the stuff that Latali has like memorized. Try the long distance cast. That one isn't long distance, isn't that warp cast? Um Everybody saying shift in time. Over there. It was a warp. It was red. Oh, I couldn't even see it. It was red. I didn't even notice. 
Red isn't exactly one of my best colors. I have a rough time seeing it. I think I just threw up a little bit in my flask. Does anybody know? What the hell? What the hell? Huh. Does it... Wait, is it staining me? I don't understand. Where did I get that stain from for a bit? Oh, the ground, the mud. <laughs> like, where did I get the water stain? Hmm. It doesn't stain me, but the ground does, because there's mud on the ground. Shoot. Let's see if we sh oops. shoot that. Hmm. Check your last flask. Oh yeah, it's filled with it. It's got a lot of it. Hmm. Here have my money, big guy. Oh, thank you there, Duncan. Appreciate the support. I guess because the the liquid dissipates so quickly, the whole lake was just deleted. Hmm. Leviathan's still there. He's, gonna, he's probably just floating around. I don't know why in that one holy mountain it was fine. I'm guessing it was kind of bugged out there because this is what I was expecting for it to happen. This one makes more sense than the than the holy mountain water. Hmm. It was in liquid liquid form in the holy mountain because uh, there was oil on top of the spark. Ah. Was there some oil on top of it? It wasn't allowing it to be exposed to the air. That would make sense. Oh yeah, Twist is right. We, did, we didn't get an oil stain from it whenever we danced in it, though. Hmm. Yeah, all that just disappears. Wait, hold up now. <laughs> yeah, it's that. It looks looks like uh, looks like blood, but burns to like lava. Nice, spicy blood. Yeah, 
Yeah, true. Hot blooded. There you go. Rationalize. I like it. Oh, did you see that? Look at that. Something to deal with that electric spark. Yeah, look at it. I don't fully understand it. Hmm. Yeah, because, yeah, true, spark equals type of fire, so the spark is melting the snow. The visuals of it look really weird, though. Shift time? There's no way. Has it already been five minutes? All lies. some of it through the ceiling. That was an accident. We're destined to have invis electric spark forever. We're just gonna call it on this shit, man. Chase, I asked earlier, but I don't know if you saw slash answered. Who's your NBA team? The Mavericks. The Dallas Mavericks. Check Noitol. Yeah, let's look up the Noitol for this, because otherwise I'm gonna go insane if we keep having to wait around. Uh, Noitul. 593. Uh, we just had one that involved Invisibilium. Okay, the next one is Flask to Steam. That is going to be the lamest five minute wait ever, but... Um, hmm. Blast to lava. That's three shifts. We have to let the timer be going at least. That's 15 minutes. So we have to do the five minutes now, five minutes after it, and then the five minutes for the, the one that's good. Steam is gone, right? Uh, no, I don't think steam is gone. Smoke is gone. Hmm. Go kill some other bosses or show off the meat biome for the YouTubes. Hmm. Steam already is electric spark, is it? I thought smoke was electric spark. Oh, they're in the same family, are they? YouTube can skip 15 minutes, they're fine. Shift 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah. So if we hold the flask here.
then we'll skip to here. So then we can go to the, yeah, okay, that's not so bad. Let's say the timer's been at one minute right now. I think if we hold it, I, I think this could work. What happens if you shift a spark into a different spark? It just would reassign the colors, I guess. It wouldn't skip the shift though, would it? I think it does if it's... There are certain uh, shifts that get skipped if they're the same. I can't remember the criteria that has to be met though for it to skip it. Uh, do you think it's been almost five minutes to do another shift? No. Okay, factory upgrade said not yet. I tried to leave it unpaused for most of that time. Though, 40 seconds, I did get distracted for a moment by Mike's snow picture. I'll never understand freedom units. Then you'll never understand freedom. That's not a thousand four hundred eighty percent stain. That's uh, I have, I have the uh, perk, um, eat your vegetables. I mean, iron stomach. Iron stomach makes it where you're you don't you can't overeat and explode. You you can overeat forever and it I never dies. I think die. you mean moon units. Winking face. <laughs> Winking face. Rogue Falcon, Hafast. Thank you guys for the bits. Duncan as well, of course. Uh. But yeah, Iron Stomach lets you eat as much as you want. Your character doesn't die. Normally in Noita, if you eat over 200%, your character explodes and you die. It's so hot, Dunk is melting in his chair. I'm not melting. I'm just a little sleepy and I'm waiting to see what the hell this electric spark is going to look like. I have but no NASA idea. But NASA got to space using metric, the true moon units. Well, there you go. You can't argue with that, chat. I have no idea what's being discussed anymore. I heard NASA. I heard moon, moon units. What was that? Friggy? Friggy, thanks for the bits, man. Alright, factory think we're probably good. I hope factory is right. I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Said Copper, uh, we have one shift left and I do not know what it's going to be or what it's going to affect. I, yeah, we're about to find out. Five minutes, the final five minute timer. Man, we, so it was a journey today. Spooky Skellington, thank you for the Prime 6 monther. I appreciate your love and support. Thank you, thank you for half a year. Around because this part is pretty boring. Uh, but I must know, I must see this this run to the to the end. To see if there's anything crazy that will come of it. Leave it in so they suffer with us. Okay. So it says it's lava. But this one is still... Oh no. Notice something? You see that?
It's like very slight. Gives off a couple pixels of lava. Like the visuals for it. So maybe it did work. Yeah, let's go to Heasy Base. Oh shit, yeah, we do get we do get to run over there real quick and see. Oh look. <laughs> Such a weak one though. I, I prefer the the other ones that we had were much cooler. Let's see. Do, do. Alright, we just need to find one of those doors so that we can shoot it. There he goes, there's one right there. It was very slight, maybe. It was hard to say because there's lava everywhere. Alright, the fungal shifts are getting pretty funky. <laughs> this that Oh shit, it actually burns like lava. If you're curious, the visuals of that are actually kind of bugged. That'll happen when you're starting to do lots of fungal shifts. If you do like a mod restart, it'll usually fix how it's supposed to display. That wasn't like a that wasn't actually supposed to look that way visually. That's literally just the engine kind of bugging out. It happens. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Right, wait, one one thing I want to see when I grab the refresh. Oh, I wasn't sure of the visuals on that green. I wanted to see if we had messed with it. So we already killed the final boss. We just need to go lock in the win. And I'm not even going to run to the dark sun. Because you guys have been tortured enough today. Because this ending was quite slow. But it was a fun time. And I, and I you know, refreshed some of my, my, uh, my spark science. Relearning that stuff. And hopefully... You know, eventually this will p get pushed over to the main client, and then you know, other people with other people trying out stuff. I'm sure we'll figure out some. You know, what I mean, like some of the noita scientists out there will figure out some even more fun interactions with the whole. You know, capturing a spark in a flask and doing fungal shifts with it. It's uh, it's crazy stuff. But GG, there it is, win number one thousand eight hundred and eighty-four. Thank you guys for all the love. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining us on our journey through uh this this daily run today trying to do some some noita science that i've only done one other time so i'm uh, i'm still learning how to to do it efficiently obviously still have a long a lot to learn as well oh and to the youtube peeps if there's ever any jump around moments like if you ever see like seem like the the video skips or something like that um i mean i don't know if i'll post this to youtube still haven't decided if it's i don't know if it's the most entertaining run but I'll try to edit out the parts where I'm literally AFKing, like waiting for the timer so that you guys don't get bored out of your mind. That I keep the, the super boring content specifically for my Twitch community. They love that. That's their favorite kind. So thanks for oh, say bye to YouTube. I see I see Quantum was already he was already saying bye, so it's only polite I let chat say bye to the YouTube peeps. Some of these people in chat are actually from the YouTube community. They've just become part of our, our Twitch community as well. <laughs> Catch me outside, YouTube. GG. GG. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Chad. God damn it.